Yo, ladies, gentlemen, welcome. I hope you guys are uh, having a good holiday season. I hope you guys have had a good 2017. This year on the Minsk and French channel, we finally got Tales of Symphonia finished. And for the end of the year little special thing, I thought the best thing I could do is make a nice little video where I kind of wrap up, clean up house in this game. So we're done for good with this. Well, not really, because um, I I have printed out a list of uh, of all the side quests in the game, which there are a ton of. So I thought for an hour or so, we'd go through all the most interesting ones, the ones I'd like to experience with you guys. And um, along the way, I might talk a little bit about uh, the year 2017, talk about plans for the future in the interim, although, like I said, this is really dense. I'm impressed. Tales of Symphonia keeps impressing me. The amount of extra content in this game is really nice for a JRPG, which classically is rather main quest focused. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's usually plenty of side stuff, but I, I like how much like uh, narrative side stuff there is in this one versus Raise a Chocobo style stuff. But, first things first, we are here at the very end of the game, so you might be like, mm, how are we going to get out to do some side quests? Well, first of all, the cutscene that played here just before warping to fight Mythos is actually necessary to unlock some of the side quests, according to this guide I read. Oh, by the way, this guide is from Kratos15354, which seems to be the most comprehensive guide to the game on GameFAQ, so thank you, Kratos. So, anyway, moving along, um, it's actually very easy to leave this final area once we've gotten the Sacred Stone, which was the thing hidden behind that block puzzle on that floating platform. It says it's a Sacred Stone used to seal evil, which is kind of misleading since it doesn't do that at all. What it does is we can now use this teleporter to warp straight out of uh, Deris Karlan entirely, back down to the Tower of Salvation. And, you know, if I were to want to finish the game after doing all these side quests, we could warp straight back to uh, Mythos' castle here in the warp, instead of going to the beginning of the slog, the final area slog. So now we're down here, and now we can get cracking. So what's on the first on the agenda for side quests we want to do? Well, it's obviously the one I've been harping the most, and that's getting costumes for our character. Obviously. I mean, that's... Fashion Souls is what I'm always most interested in. So there's a couple of quests where you get generic costumes for everybody. We'll do those first. Then there is character-specific costumes that you can get after that, doing little side quests. The first thing we have to do is we're going to go do some rest and relaxation. That's right, it's JRPG, which means you guys can look forward to a beach episode. We are going to start by going to Altamira and getting the getting the beach costumes for, well, not quite everybody. It turns out there's an interesting relationship mechanic in this game that I had no idea about. Oh, and there's a skit we've never seen. ルイン。Alright, cool. Yeah, Luin is progressing nicely. That's a more traditional side quest. Okay, but here we are at uh, at Altamira um well, let's just go down to these save states. I don't know why I'm bothering to save, but, you know, I might die at some point. Okay, so, we're all gonna have some fun in the sun. To begin with that, we need to talk to the woman in front of the hotel. Oh, look, there is someone here. Interesting. Mary, Joe, Beth, Diana, where have you all gone? Um, what's wrong? My daughters are lost. What should I do? Lloyd, let's help her look for them. <laughs> that sounds like a pain. <laughs> let's not do that. Sure. Thanks, Lloyd. 
They haven't left Altamira, right? Yes, that's for certain. Okay then, time to find some lost kids. Cool, so that's the, this side quest involves us finding some lost kids. Okay, well, um, first we go to the beach. And we need to find a short -haired, short -haired, haired girl on the end. So let's see if there's anyone here who looks out of place. You look like a little kid. Hmm? Mom's looking for me. Okay, I'll go back. Though I'm impressed you realized that I was a girl. Oh, she did have kind of a boyish look to her. That's fine. Okay. Little kids, you know. That's one out of four. Brilliant. Um, the second floor of the hotel is the next stop. Oop. Okay. Yeah, there's there's like a ton of costumes in this game after all. The one one sad thing is there's a bunch of like flags in the game from when you can start doing these side quests, but there's no real indicator for like you're simply supposed to realize that okay, that was a big plot point. I should probably scour the world to see if any new um, plot activities have popped up. So let's see. This girl is. We're supposed to talk to her with Kratos or Zelos as our on-screen character for some reason. Okie dokie. No, oh, what am I doing? All I need to do is this. Ah, I'm Diana. I'll return to mom at once. Alright. Guess I should have tested to seeing how Sheena's child skills work, but um, well, that's too bad. We missed it. Take the elemental railway to the amusement park and talk to the girl near the entrance. Alright, we'll get on with that. I figured that uh, this is the only way I can get really done a major amount of side quests is us, uh, me following a guide. I know it makes the experience a little bit artificial, but you know, I the the authentic the authentic version was that I never did any of these because I'm not smart enough to pick up on side quests. Well, not entirely true. I was reading through some of these and like, oh, hey, I did that. Like that scene where uh, the professor gets KO'd and in, in she falls like sick in Altessa's house. And then you have, then Genus and what's his face? Mythos go looking for a cure. That was a little side quest. So that was just me. That was me for once being like, hmm, well, I should check out these side places and see if we learn anything new. What? Mom's looking for me. Okay, I'll go back. Don't worry, I can go back on my own. Hang on. Okay, so apparently we have to go back to the mom, and then we have to go back to this girl, I guess, because she's trying to trying to juke us out here. Oh man, I forgot about those miserable looking mascot characters. Ugh. I don't know why we have to do this side quest to get some R&R &R on the beach, but... Well, there's one, too. There's two children. Beth? She hasn't come back yet. She's a little laid back, so she may not return unless you talk to her several times. Yeah, I figured. Okay, Beth. Time to get a move on. This is very irresponsible. Actually, it's mainly irresponsible on the parents' part, I suppose, for losing track. But what are you gonna do? Kids are... Kids are wild and active like that. <sighs> I was just thinking it was about time to go home. Thank you. There we go. I thought it was a little weird that the kid didn't vanish immediately after talking to her. The other two did. Okay, then we need to go back to the beach, apparently. I don't know why we couldn't go there first. Maybe you just had to do these kids in this order. Um, to go to talk to a girl at a juice bar. And that'll be all four kids. We didn't go to the Lazareno company, but I guess that would have been kind of a weird place for kids to run off to. I want to see the corp corp corporate uh, household. Exciting. There's finances. Uh, oh, yes, there is a girl here at the juice bar. Oh, everyone's back. Fine, I'll go home. And that should be all four kids. Let's 
see. You found all my daughters. Thank you so much. Ah, don't mention it. I have something for you as my thanks. I've sent word to the manager of that hotel, so please pick it up. Farewell. Oh, so I guess she rewards us with the swimsuits. Thanks, huh? Let's go have a look. Let's go see what's what, yeah? Um... We need to spend the night at the hotel to get the uh, suits. Are you Mr. Lloyd? A package has arrived. Oh, that must be her. Thanks. I wonder what it is. I'm told that there are swimsuits. We prepared rooms for you to change. Please come this way. Okay, let's go have some fun! Ah, oh, sweet! We got the... Uh, we got already a, a costume. This is what I wanted! Damn, I'm happy! But I do... I, I'm not super grumpy, even, because I appreciate the effort hidden in getting these costumes, that they don't just drip-feed them to you easily. Monsieur Lloyd, your companion is waiting for you. If I understood correctly, this is going to be... Colette. I wonder who it is. Oh, never mind. We actually get to pick, I guess. Uh, then you get to choose one other person who will get a swimsuit. Well, I said Sheena's my favorite character, and she got snubbed out with being Lloyd's companion, apparently. Uh, I'll talk more about that when we're flying to the next thing. So, let's get Sheena. Is it Sheena? It is! Hooray! Altamira's ocean is beautiful. Let's hurry and go, Lloyd. All right. The ocean is salty, right? I'm so excited. And finally. <laughs> Yay. This is the first time I've ever swum in the ocean. Oh, that's cool. He's got a little, little straw hat on him. How very piratey of you we are. The, the Japanese definition of a pirate. Huh? Where are the others? Uh, they said they were too tired, so they're resting in their rooms. They're a bunch of wimps. Huh. Well, they're no fun. Oh well, let's go to the beach. Oh, and I bet this is where you would have gotten Zelos's super tight speedo, which you saw in the credits, now that I think about it. Well, we missed out on it. But wait, we got these uh, beach costumes now. That's kind of fun. Now that I think about it, this is the first time I've ever gone swimming with you. Really? Huh. Yeah, I guess it's always just been Genus and me. Yeah, I always envied you two. You could go play at far places, but they wouldn't let me out of the village. And I'll teach you all the things the two of us did. Yeah. There's jumping and diving and catching clams and eating them. Oh, but you're a girl, so I guess we shouldn't do anything too rough. Oh my god, Lloyd, come on, have you seen... <laughs> have you seen all the shit she's done in this game so far? I can do it. We used to play sword games in the village, remember? Gotcha! Then let's go, Private Colette! Yes, sir. Today we'll play until we get all wrinkled. Ew. Yeah, that's my least favorite part about... the water. Whoa! That's cool, I never noticed it. That little blub blub noise if you go in the water. That's nice. I like that Lloyd has his freaking swords with him while he's <laughs> going to the beach. Well, always be prepared, they say. There might be a kraken or something. No, but I, again, I just really like that um, not only do we get like these kind of um, the obligatory beach costume, but there is like plot stuff. It's like character development here. Not like huge plot stuff, but little character interactions. The effort put into it, it really warms my heart. Hey, Genus. Lloyd, let's make sandcastles. Okay, let's see who can make the bigger one. The winner gets to decide dinner at the camp tonight. Let's get started. Okay, so that wasn't so huge, but it was still cute. I like the idea of them making sandcastles. They're called sand cakes in, 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 in Finnish, which is... Mm, 
I, I hope no child has ever eaten one, because like, mmm, cake, I'll have that. Hmm. What? Are you gonna go dive? Heh, <laughs> it's beautiful water underwater, right? I always wanted to go diving once. The ocean in this area is very clear, so it's really pretty. I know, let's go dive together. Sheena, you can dive? Don't sound so surprised. I was taught ninja water techniques by the chief. I'm a good diver. Okay, let's go. You got it. Okay, and well, that's unceremoniously the end of the, uh, the beach segment, but that was fun. So now I believe if we, uh, if I give the titles that we earned there, for example, Queen of the Beach here. Yes, that title grants us the costume, which is an interesting sling bikini for her. I like the glasses on the top, though. Um, let's not go with that for now, Let's, because we're going to get some even cooler costumes in a moment. And which one was the one I was using before? Elemental Summoner? There we go. But hey, yeah, that's one out of oodles of side quests done. I feel good. In fact, this is going to take a long while, actually. It took so long just to get this first set of costumes. I thought we'd only go for an hour, but I might have to go a little bit longer so we can do all the content I wanted to uh, get done. The next one we have to go to... We have to go to Zelos's house in... Um... Zelos's house in... In uh, Meltokyo, but first we need to do some sort of other side quest. Hold on, I need to review my notes here. Okay, here we go. I hope this quest can be done. Some of these quests, unfortunately, are timed that um, at a certain point in the game you can no longer do them for plot reasons. It's unfortunate, but it, it happens. Now, hopefully we can do this one. We need to... after... Uh, okay, so this one's at Zelos' house too. Okay, that makes sense. So we go to Zelos' house, we do one side quest, then we go back there and we get the next set of costumes. Speaking of costumes, as you noticed, I got to pick one character to get a costume, that was Sheena. Then the game picked the other two costumes seemingly randomly. And the other guys just didn't get costumes. Well, that was not actually random. There is a hidden relationship value in this game. And the various um, skits I've been doing in this game, those glowing lights, apparently have been uh, cont contributing to those points. And various other choices you make throughout the game actually um, contribute to... Um, the relationship values. So the game does rank like characters in order of who's the most like the has the highest affection for Lloyd. Kind of like a Western RPG, if we're perfectly honest. But but this one, yeah, um, the JRPG anyway, does that. I mean, it's kind of cool. It, it's it's actually again I have to make a Final Fantasy comparison. It's very similar to the um, system in Final Fantasy VII where it picks one of the characters to be be. Um, Cloud's uh, date in the Gold Saucer. So this is kind of similar, and it apparently adds up to the Doctor scene in Flanoir. This keeps referring this guy to the Doctor scene. Uh, if you recall, when we spent the night in Flanoir, um, Colette came in and asked to go outside. So there can apparently be a scene with all of the characters in the game, and it's uh, dependent on who um, has the highest affection. Uh, you don't have to have the highest fiction, you need to be in the top four, because the top four stay in Flanoir, and all of them will approach Lloyd to ask out to go out. So I could have actually picked someone other than Colette if I'd have realized, but unfortunately I missed out on that. And that and that decision kind of like seals who is Lloyd's like either bro for life or um or love interest, I guess. I don't know, it was very platonic between Lloyd and Colette, so I don't know. Honestly, I'm not even super grumpy about Colette being chosen. The game was like kind of pushing her as the canonical companion for Lloyd anyway, the childhood friend, it made the most sense. So I'm not super grumpy, even though Sheena's still my favorite character, so I would have liked that a bit more. Okay, here we are at Zelos' house. Oh! Actually, are we actually gonna get... Actually, Zelos has unique costume at this point. It's also gained at uh, 
Zelas's house. Interesting, because you also have to go there for that. Well, we'll see. Zelas! You never come by here anymore. I have been so worried about you. Hey, this girl is the one that was dressed as an angel. Why is she with Zelos? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Oh, and Sheena is with him too. I, th I thought I told you people from Mizuho not to approach Zelos. I'm not with him because I want to be. He's always jabbering away obnoxiously. <laughs> oh my, as vulgar as ever. You talk like a middle-aged woman. W w what Oh, my cute honeys. If you all love me, you have to get along, understand? But Zelos... Okay, okay. Then I'll drop by all of your houses later, so let's split up for now, okay? You understand, right? I only have one body. I can't express my love for all of you at the same time. Zelos, make sure you keep your promise. I'll be waiting for you. Huh. I had heard the rumors of the Chosen's debauchery, but... Um, Duke Bryant, the last time we met, I was six years old. So how did you hear anything like that about me? Huh. Your reputation precedes you. I didn't have to meet you to hear about your escapades. Even after I went to prison, the guard said that you're quite the man about town. Now, oh. He can do whatever he wants with whoever he wants, as far as I'm concerned. But I'm tired of putting up with this every time we come to Mel Tokyo. Do something! Uh, it can't be helped. The little birds flock to my beauty. Then, let us cover your face. What? Oh my god! <laughs> Damn, that's good. Yeah! Now we won't get those noisy groupies following us around anymore. Heh, <laughs> too bad no one can see your beauty that you're so proud of. Oh no no, my beauty shines from within and cannot be hidden by a mask. <gasps> oh, he's so cool! From now on, call me the mysterious masked handsome warrior Zillas. What is that ugly mask? This is why I can't stand country folk. <sighs> A woman's love is so shallow. Oh, dude! Okay, so that was one of the unique costumes. So for, apart from these generic costumes that we got the one set of, the beach costume, we're gonna get another one. Everyone does have a unique costume, so everyone will get something, and we got Zelos just by visiting his house. In fact, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on at the Casa de Zelos. Let's put that on him right now, that's so cool. <laughs> that, was, that was an awesome design, that hat. It's too bad it's just a hat, though, I mean, or, well, a headpiece. Would have minded something, you know, on the body as well, but... Uh, Oh, it's on him right now. Okay, cool. So, hold on. Let me just, uh... Gotta just check this out. No, 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 no. No. Oh, no! Oh, my... No! A bird! Ah, they are impervious to my disguise. Oh, that's a sweet design. Okay, now let's see about this. Hopefully, we can do this quest now. Um... Come on. Let's see if this works. Chosen, an emissary from His Royal Majesty is waiting for you. What? An emissary from His Majesty? Who said he never wants to see my face again? What is it about? Let's listen to what he has to say. Sir Bond is right. Hey, listen, my name is not Bud! I have a message for the Chosen. His Majesty is requesting your immediate assistance. Please come back to the castle at once. Did something happen? I'm sorry, who are you? I'm looking for Zelos, not this masked dunderhead. I, I, I mean, uh, I cannot speak of it here. Princess Hilda's life is on the line. Please aid his majesty. The princess? What do you want to do, Lloyd? Huh, I'm a little curious about it. Let's go to the castle. 
So now we gotta run off to the castle, I guess. Oh, that's odd. It said we should have just learned about this quest here, but... Never mind then. Oh, actually, for this side quest, the fact that we're dressed as a mysterious masked swordsman is actually really great. I really like that, although... I should take off my disguise while in my while I'm in my civilian role. Oh, I have to kill that. I have to kill that one messenger guy now because he learned that Zelos is actually masked swordsman Zelos. Damn! What have I done? I'm so responsible with my secret identity. Pardon me. Chosen. It is good to see you again. Oh, well, as you had expressed a deep desire to avoid gazing upon my visage again, I had thought it would only be a burden for you to see me. Chosen, what rudeness! Rude? He's the one who was saved by Zelos and didn't even thank him! I cannot deny that, but Chosen, while I realize the impudence, I have a request for you. Princess Hilda has been kidnapped. Princess Hilda? Is this true? Oh, Bryant, so you too are part of the Chosen's group? Yes, Hilda, my daughter, was taken away by the Papal Knights. Those guys, so they're still up to no good. So then, why was I called? They want to exchange Princess Hilda for you. Wait a minute! Are you saying you want Zelos to take her place? No, we can we also cannot afford to lose the chosen. I want you to pretend to go along with the exchange and round them all up for good. I wonder if it will really go as smoothly as that. It's all right with me. Zelos, are you serious? Princess Hilda hasn't done anything, right? Besides, it'll be a chance to settle things with the Pope. All right, if you say so, I'll help too. Then Chosen, please come this way. As for Duke Bryant and the attendants, please go to the Grand Heviala Bridge with the soldiers. The Papal Knights will appear there. Oh. That's a little odd. We still have Zelos in the party. That's actually... I'm gonna do something crazy here. I just decided. On a whim here. Um, I'm gonna play as the guy. Let's do it. I'm gonna give him a go. Uh... I guess these are fine spells. I'm okay with these. So let's go, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is a Zelos-focused quest, and I kind of shat on the guy throughout my uh, playthrough. So let's finally give him some uh, some of this limelight he deserves. So I'll play as the guy to do this side quest involving getting... Uh, getting the... Um, dip, dip, dip. Getting the uh, princess saved and the other costumes. I don't know why I bothered to fly there. I've just ran over here. I'm a bit doofy like that. This is really cool too. Like this is like actual plot stuff still with the Pope. Like we're settling that. The Chosen and Princess Hilda will walk forward at the same time. When the exchange is over, we'll raise the drawbridge. Is Zilla's gonna be okay? I don't know. Don't let your guard down. You're not the princess. I'm... You can't fool these eyes. The princess is more slender. Kate! Why are you here? Run! The Pope, my father, intends to kill both the Chosen and... the princess. Damn them! Aw, oh, I was hoping we'd actually fight that time. Oh well. She's been poisoned. Hey, are you all right? My father is in Garakia Forest. It's all right. There's little. There's still time. Let's treat her in Meltokio. Damn the Pope! <laughs> Don't take that out of context, in Internet. I can't believe he keeps using his own daughter to do things like this. Huh, we should hurry. The Pope may try to kill the princess. Garakia Forest, right? Let's go!
Zealous. Are you certain? You dislike half-elves. It's all right. She and the half-elf who killed my mother long ago, they're both victims of the Pope. I'm gonna try to stop hating people just for being half-elves. I understand. Chosen. All right, let's freaking go and rock the Pope. Yeah, I guess the guy just kind of left, didn't he? I don't remember. We didn't kill him. I do remember that. I think we just kind of let him go off. After confronting him here in in Miltokyo. I, mm. Well, one of those moments in the game that's kind of passed me by, if we are perfectly honest. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, there's relationship values. It's, it's, it's really cool, and there's a lot of stuff the game doesn't tell you, but I, you know, I do appreciate that in some way, that there is some mystery to the game. Now that I'm reading through this guide, like, all this stuff that I could have been doing, and uh, stuff that I just did not know about at all, it's kind of, uh, exciting. Okay! It's time to put on our disguise. They'll never know who's coming. Um, wait, I, I'm going the right way. I forgot to read. I was so engrossed in this, I forgot to read the guide here. Um, enter from the Mizuho Ozet side. Blarg! Alright. This will save us some time, apparently. Uh, right here, right? Yeah, good. Oh, okay. Well then. Step right there! How did you know that? It was Kate, wasn't it? That traitor. Traitor? How can you say that? You used her love for you. I'll never forgive you. No, no. Let's not get excited. Yo, Pope. You really should give up now. <laughs> this kingdom was mine to begin with. What's wrong with taking it back? <laughs> so that rumor was true. What rumor? That the Pope was a child born from the previous king and a commoner. That was why he was able to leap to the position of Pope. Exactly. If the current idiot of a king had died, this country would have been mine. But you interfered! But why did you kidnap the princess? I have no use for the princess. I just used this girl in order to obtain the Chosen's jewel and the throne. So that's why you called me out here. If I eliminate you here, I'll still have a chance. Soldiers! If you defeat them, I'll double your pay. Get them! Oh sweet, the actual fight. We get to play as Zelos now. Masked Zelos! Oh wait, this... Wow! The Pope is hanging out with some unsavory types all of a sudden. Look at these guys! I don't know how to play as a... Uh... I have no idea how to play as Zelos, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, never mind. Now I've found my groove. Okay. I believe the game may have meant us to do this uh, quest quite a bit earlier. That's fine. You! Alright, we'll just take you right out of Bell Tokyo. Oh, you've come for me. Ah, uh, well, it... Zelos, I knew you would come for me. Sorry, Lloyd. Shut up. Well, that's kind of funny, too. This is not a costume title, as far as I'm aware. So that's not what we were doing here, but we need to do this before we can go do the... Um, go do the next uh, costume quest. <laughs> costume quest. That's a good game. Did the Chosen save the princess? Yep, yep. Take the Pope to Melt Tokyo. Now, princess, the soldiers will escort you to the castle. Zelos, what about you? Fear not, I shall visit later. I understand. Duke Bryant and your attendants, thank you. <laughs> I feel chipped. <sighs> the princess gets on my nerves. Oh, that's... See, I... 
Yeah. No, I said that uh, Lloyd and Colette seem to be the canonical pairing, but <laughs> they do seem to really push Lloyd and uh, Sheena up there a bit in this game as well, don't they? Hmm. Oh well, don't worry about it. Anyway, let's go report to His Royal Majesty. Oh sweet, thank goodness we just cut there real quick. Welcome Chosen, and Duke Bryant, and attendants. I'm telling you, we're not his attendants. The Pope has been officially dismissed from his position and will undergo questioning. With this, I hope the matter with the Pope has finally been settled. Indeed. I have decided to rethink my ways. So that I may not be taken advantage of by people like the Pope, I would like to carry out my rule with the aid of the Chosen and the Church. Chosen, will you cooperate with me? That would be after my journey with these guys is ended. However... However what? Find a way to repeal the half-elf laws enacted by the Pope. That's all. Zelos! I never thought I'd hear the Chosen say something like that. It will not happen quickly. The roots of discrimination run deep. But we will have a positive outlook. Then I will have a positive outlook on the future after my journey with Lloyd is over. Zelos, to celebrate my safe return and the restoration of the Chosen's name, a party will be held. You will participate, won't you? Yes, yes, that's right. Both the Chosen and its attendants have done well. I have ordered the royal designer to make your outfits. When they are finished, I shall have them sent to the Chosen's house. We will inform you of the date of the party later. Please join us. You have truly done well, everyone. I thank you. So there you go. We, we're going to get our formal party costumes for doing this quest. That's what it was all leading up to. As you may recall, one of my one of my favorite bits in the game um, was that uh, Steve Martin looking guy who was like, It is not time for the dinner party yet. Well, guess what, mofos? It's time for the dinner party. So now we are going back to Zelos' house. Yep. In fact, the party is going to be right now. So yeah, you can do, I think you can do the Pope quest, I think, really early in the game. Well, not really early, but I mean like, um, before the doctor scene in Flanoir, which is after when you can do this formal party thing. Um, God, I'm lost. I ran right past Zelos' house. Mm. Mel Tokyo is so confusing. So... So that's why the, those scary guards the Pope was using... Boy, he wasn't really subtle anymore, was he? Well, that's why they were rather easy chumps that went down in a second. Okay, now we go down here. Uh-huh. There we go. Lord Zelos, a package from His Majesty has arrived. Oh yeah, the celebration, or whatever it was. Outfits and invitations for everyone have arrived. Wow, I wonder what kind of outfits they are. I can't wait to try them on. The party will be held this evening at the reception center. I've never been to a party before. I'm nervous. Yes, the reception center is only for nobles. I is it all right for us to go? It's fine, don't worry about it. Now, let's get ready. So, where's my stuff? Uh, I'm afraid there was a mistake and Sir Buds did not arrive. No, no, listen, it's Lloyd. But There's none for me. Yes, I'm about to send a messenger to the castle. Yeah, now I'll go to the castle and get it myself. You all go on ahead without me. Okay, don't get lost now, bumpkin. Who are you calling a bumpkin? So for whatever reason, we have to go out by ourselves and get the costume. <laughs> I guess because the game needs to load the stuff up. Okay, just like the beach thing, we're gonna meet. We're gonna pick someone to meet on the balcony, and then we'll also get two other people with um, costumes. Apparently there'll be a balcony scene. Oh, how romantic. What do you want? 
His Majesty has already left for the reception center. My outfit didn't show up. What's going on? What? Wait just a moment. I will make an inquiry. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. They, they, they were left in this dressing room. I shall assist you in changing. Please come this way. What? Oh, no, no, that's okay. I can change by myself. That will not do. Come now, the party will start soon. Please hurry. Oh, embarrassing for Lloyd. Whoa! We've prepared the nobleman's style, which is very popular currently. My, it suits you well. R r r really? Oh, wow, Lloyd looks so swanky. Well then, we will escort you to the party hall. I can go by myself. Now, now, don't say that. Here we go, everyone. Ah! That was bad. Anyway, this sure is luxurious. Mr. Lloyd, I presume. Your companion is waiting for you on the rear terrace. Oh, this is too bad, cause I'd really like to... I mean, I appreciate the value that is put into these costumes by the fact that you can't get them for everyone. But I'm also a greedy guy, and I would like to see the formal costume for pretty much everybody. Um, I... Here's this. Uh, I, mean, I kind of want to pick Sheena because Sheena's so cool. I want to see if she has. Does she have like a cool gala dress? But I really want to see Regal in a tuxedo as well. I'm like really hoping he gets like a cool James Bond tux. That would be so cool. But I want to see all these other characters too. Um, I really want to see the professor th though. Ah, this is a really hard pick. Okay, here's the thing. I know Colette's gonna be on the top, cause it's the two top, mo it's gonna be like, the, the we're gonna pick a character and then the two who have the most highest affection are gonna get costumes. Now it's gonna be, it, 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 I know it's gonna be Colette and Genus is in the running for the top, but it might also be Sheena, cause I think I've been like really like positive with Sheena this whole game. The reason, you know, I picked Sheena last time, so I was guaranteed her in a costume. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking if I pick the Professor, I might get Colette and Sheena as the two other characters. Oh, I wish I made a save before I did this. We could have seen everyone's costumes. But I guess, again, that's the value put into these characters. We have these costumes. We only get a certain amount. Uh, oh, I really want to see the Professor's costume, though. So we're going to do that. I bet it's the Professor. The other guests are also anxiously awaiting our arrival, Mr. Lloyd. Wait, no, this is the wrong voice, damn it. Oh, it was the Steve Martin guy, I'm so sorry. The other guests are also anxiously waiting your arrival, Mr. Lloyd. I'm about speaking to them before heading to the terrace. Yeah, I suppose I could talk to three of them or so. Uh, huh. During the party, talk to the three people who you want the formal costume for, then you will go meet the person you chose earlier. That's what the guide says. Oh, that's cool. I think uh, this is a good compromise. So I think, I think, I'm gonna guess, we're gonna see everybody's costume, but we get to, like, pick who gets to, like, keep them outside of the scene. That's a good compromise. That's a, that, that, I really appreciate that. Thank you, game. Uh, uh, let's hope so. Oh, it worked out. Look, look, everyone's got... Cool, swanky costumes. Except the professor's not here. Um, I wish you could see these costumes a bit better, though. It's really hard to tell who was wearing what. For example... Oh, yeah, look at that costume Regal's got on. And he's got his hair in a ponytail, too. Wait, doesn't does he have his hair normally in a ponytail? I can't recall. I'm not actually sure. Okay, we, I gotta get that costume. So, so yeah, the three people I talked to in this room, of which there are six, will get, those, get to keep those costumes. As well as the person who I picked, which is gonna be the professor. Um, yeah, okay, cool. I, I, I want... Regal. <sighs> huh? Your face is red. Well... 
Uh, Chosen has been calling me a dandy, so everyone's now looking at me suspiciously. Ah, but you really do have a feeling of dandiness about you. Do I? Oh, that's really fun. What a dandy guy, that Regal. Oh, he's so cool. I like that. Um, um I'll be honest. Freaking Colette's... Not Colette. Um, Sheena's costume over there looks really weird. Can I just talk to these randos, by the way? I heard you aided the rescue of the princess. That's wonderful. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. How do I get to go over to talk to Sheena? I'm being blocked by all fronts. Let's talk to the king as well. Might as well thank him. You did well helping the Chosen. I hear you have a task of great importance you must carry out, but if there is anything I can do to be of assistance, do not hesitate to ask. Also, by the way, what's with that purple glow in there, sky all of a sudden? Is that cause for alarm? Uh, just asking. Bud, thank you so much for what you have done. You have my gratitude. Ah, yes, yeah. I don't know if I want Sheena to keep whatever this... That's a weird costume. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm feeling more like... I Honestly, I think... I, I honestly think Genus and Prezea's costumes are adorable. So I think I'm going to lean on them. Zelos is super cool too, but... Sorry, buddy. You already got that freaking masked hero costume. You're good. Hey, Lloyd. Sheena looked at my outfit and made fun of me. Saying I look like I'm dressed for Easter Sunday. I was about to ask that same thing. Well, I was going to ask, how does Easter Sunday relate to this fantasy world? But, okay. What's Easter Sunday? It, it seems it's a children's ritual in Mizuho. Well, that's a little odd. I feel. Man, this music's swanky, by the way. I love this. This is really fun. This is even more fun than the beach scene. Um, Colette's costume's pretty cool, too, but again, not, like, stunning. But <laughs> this one's adorable. I love it. Lloyd, what is little madam? Why'd you ask me all of a sudden? Everyone's been calling me that. Huh, I think it means cute or something like that. Then it's a compliment. Yeah! I understand. I am happy. Little madam. Aw, oh, so adorbs. I think I should head over to the terrace. Oh, sweet! That costume's so cool! Oh, yeah! I, I totally made the right choice this time. Oh, Lloyd. You're late. Um, what's wrong? You seem out of it. Ah, uh, it, it, it's a... Uh, you look really pretty. My, thank you. You look charming too, Lloyd. Thanks. Lloyd, look down. Huh? I is there something there? If you subtract the number of males from the hall, how many would that be? Uh-oh. Uh it's simple arithmetic. Even you can... Ah! I'm leaving! I'm leaving! What are you saying? If you don't study sometimes, your brain will turn to mush. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, dude, freaking... Never have I felt more like I made the right choice then. Just now, freaking getting that... That freaking... The tuxedo for the professor. Yes! Yeah, that party yesterday was more formal than I expected. Well, it's not something poor folk usually do. I told you not to call us poor! Oh, now we got just skulky Zillos here. <laughs> his witch, his, his freaking plague doctor costume. Um, that, that's what it mainly looks like. I, I suppose it's supposed to look like a, um... Those weird carnival... No, those weird ballroom things they have in Venice. I, suddenly I forget what they're called, where everyone has weird costume, weird, weird masks. That's what it's going for, but... Um, okay, well, freaking, I gotta... As long as I can enjoy this, I... I have to, uh, have to enjoy this. I'm freaking, that was such a cool costume. Gotta run around as it for a bit. And now I'm playing as uh, the professor as well. It looks like I'm mopping up and playing all the characters I didn't get around to playing as last time, aren't I? 
Crimson Rose? Damn, when did she get such a cool name as that? I don't know. Oh, dude, that's such a cool costume! She, she, she looks even more professory with this uh, get-up on. Okay, so... That is actually all of the, like, quote-unquote generic costumes done, because we've got, like, these theme costumes. But, as we learned, there is unique costumes for everybody in this game. Um... Like, like, like a specific character trait costume. Um, we already got Zelasus there, his um, cool hat and plague doctor mask. We, I believe, unfortunately, I don't think we can do Lloyd's costume because um, to get Lloyd's costume, you have to fully rebuild Luin. And I think with 26,000 gold, I'm nowhere near close to that. So I'm sorry, guys. I can't do the grind to get it. If I'm reading this correctly, his title is Argmihartis, which implies to me that Lloyd gets a pirate costume. Now, that sounds fun. I, I, I love me some pirates, but um, I can live without a, a, a pirate costume. I mean, this nobleman costume was so swanky. I'm, I'm certainly happy to have that instead. Like... I, 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 I don't need a pirate costume. <laughs> but, everyone else I think we can get. Now this first one's for Colette. Um, it's right here in the castle, so we're right here. That's that's fortunate. Um, we need to go to the right side, and we need to find some maids. In the corner by the sta- There, there's some maids. There we go. I should save the game. While I'm here, there we go. I wish we could have seen the beach costumes for everybody, just like we saw the formal costumes there. Oh well, it's it's fine. Hello, maids. I believe we just play this scene out. Interesting, you cannot do the side quest if you talk to Kratos during the Flanoir Doctor scene. I don't know why that is, I guess we'll maybe learn. But we didn't do that, so we'll get this costume. Hooray. I don't know what to do. What's wrong? Her mother collapsed due to illness. I want to go see her right now, but we're short on people today. That's terrible. I'll help. Colette will. That was a weird... What was with that weird... Prompt there at the top? I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, was it like everyone yelling at the same time? Like, Colette will! What are you so surprised about? No, that, was, that voice was completely wrong, I'm sorry. What are you so surprised about? If Colette works in her place, then she will be able to visit her mother. That's true. I'll work as hard as I can in your place. I hope the castle doesn't wind up with any holes in it. I'm worried. Well, that'd be funny if, like, Colette-shaped holes showed up. Um, like, uh, <laughs> in the meantime, <laughs> after doing this quest. Then please take my place. Um, what should I do? Carry the food from the kitchen. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's a really sweet costume. I like that. Uh, I, I, like, I read that this was going to be some sort of maid costume. I thought it'd be more generic, but it's like a... That's a really nice costume. I like that. Miss Colette, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Carry it again. Y yes, ma'am. Ah, oh, oh, so close, but so far. That's enough. Bring a bucket and clean this place. Y yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Doi. <laughs> Ugh, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Today's work is finally over. You were totally useless. My, this corridor is polished much more than it was this morning. Yes, your highness. It's because of your excellent training that everyone works as hard as they do. You have my compliments. Thank you, your highness. Hmm. Um, 
Miss Colette, thank you for your help today. You worked very hard. As a reward, I'll give you 100 gold in that uniform. 100 gold? That's like chump change. <laughs> we should just show off our 25,000, like, <laughs> nest egg here and be like, Okay, what else? Wow, thank you. So yeah, these uh, these unique costumes are a lot less, a lot less um, intensive than the beach and the formal costumes. By the looks of it, it's just like these little nice little scenes. Miss Colette, thank you so much. Was your mother all right? Yes, thank you. Uh, Miss Grace seemed to be in rather good mood. Yes, she was happy being complimented by the princess. Ah, that's because if the princess compliments her, her pay goes up. Oh, also, your companions are waiting for you at the entrance to the castle. Ah, okay, thank you. Did you mess up? Did you make any holes in the castle? Um, Miss Grace complimented me, her pay went up, I got new clothes, and I earned money. I see, that's great! I don't understand you at all. That was kind of fun. All right. Cool. Oh, she's got the maid thing on right now. Unfortunately, it looks like the, these costume things don't like, um, don't like uh, provide you with, um, well, let's see if I put the clots back on. They don't provide any sorts of like level up bonuses. So they're just for showing off. That's fine. Okay, well, we are actually closing on an hour, which I thought is the time I would allot to this. I thought. But, um... I really want to do, like, as much of this side stuff as I want. So we are going to go really freaking long today. So, I don't think you guys are going to be able to watch this all on New Year's Eve. And who can blame you? I hope you guys are out with your friends enjoying New Year's Eve. But when you find the time, do come back and watch some more of this. In fact, I'm going to make a little skip here because I need to take a little break and uh, get some food. And then we're going to carry on with the rest of the costumes. Uh, a couple more story bits and there might be a couple more fights in the future. So, catch you all in a second. <laughs> <laughs> all right and welcome back my friends i'm all fed again i'm able to go i could do this all day baby so um next costume is gonna be for genus um it's gonna be an interesting one <laughs> Uh, this is also in Meltokyo. Wow, Meltokyo is a happening place, ain't it? Um, we need to go to the slums this time. And there it goes. It's one of those cats. Hey, there was someone chasing a cat just now. What? Uh, I, I wasn't looking. Honestly, Lloyd. I think he ran off that way. Hey, Genus, don't go running off on your own. Ah, there he's off now. Now I gotta go and save him. Oh, never mind. Damn, he got away again. What's wrong? Why are you chasing a cat? What? Ah, my grandpa wants to see a cat. So I thought I'd get one to see him. Grandpa's sick and can't move. I see. But no matter how much I beg those cats, they refuse to come see Grandpa. Why does your grandfather want to see cats? I don't know. It's a really popular, <laughs> little popular stage show. He says he used to study them a long time ago. I see. Well, if I see any cats, I'll take them to your grandfather. Will we? Grandpa lives at the back of the slums, and my name's Weiss. I'm Genus. Nice to meet you. Genus, huh? Thanks for your help. Cool. Genus, we've been looking all over for you. 
Say, Lloyd, I have a favor to ask. So we just need to bring cats here, then. Cats, a non-human life form that exists throughout the world. Huh, if I'm not mistaken, there are some in this city. Now let's go talk to them. Okay, so maybe this is a bit more involved than the the one for Zillos and for Colette, because now we need to hunt a bunch of cats around. Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, okay, so that's interesting. I guess in the original GameCube version, you have to actually run up over here to get that scene, but we just cut to it fast because this is based on one of the later versions. I've, saw, I've seen some clips of the GameCube version, one of the most interesting things is the, well, interesting, is the really weird font. They had a really not easy to the eyes font that they used in the GameCube version. I, 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 I was not a fan of it personally. Damn, how do we, oh, okay, there's a, there was a stair hidden right there. Okay. So, we need to go to the item shop because that's where all the cats is, is hanging out. Um, let's see now. The item shop was this a ways, I think. Because Troopalos was upstairs, and that was like other stuff. Wait a second. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. Talk to the cat that is not behind the counter. However. There's no cats that's not behind a counter. Oh, okay. So apparently in this version we just have to talk to just the cats that is behind the counter. That, that's a bit confusing. Please come see the old man in the Maltokyo slums. Do you mean Noah? I don't know his name, but he used to study cats and he has a grandson named Vice. Meow, that's Noah. I don't want to see Noah. Why not? I just don't, and I'm sure the others will say the same thing. You can at least tell us the reason. Meow! Ask the elder in our village. Village? Cat's village? Yes, but I won't tell a friend of Noah where it is. You'll have to find it yourselves. Fine. We'll find it ourselves, meanie. Well, fortunately, we've already been to Cat's Village once, stumbled upon it on our travails. It's actually in Silverant, which is really weird. That guy knows... How do these cats know about these interdimensional places? Hmm. I, I don't know. That seems like a plot hole, unless those cats know something we don't. Okay, well, um, I guess we need to go to Silverant then. Now that we've got a longer flight that I can have a bit of a talk, I need to amend one of my comments in my review of the game. Uh, oh yeah, it's up north in the ice place. I have to go back on what I said that my favorite boss in this game was. I said it was Kuchinawa back when I was reviewing this the first time, but the more I've thought about it over these weeks... Uh, Absolutely, when you finally fight Mythos in his Yggdrasil form, and you, like, properly have to fight him, that is, in the Tower of Salvation, when he's, uh, when Zelos has seemingly betrayed you, like, near the end of the game. That is easily my favorite boss in the game, now that I think about it. And, like, I was frustrated when I played that fight, but it's, it's so much more rewarding, that fight, and what I really like is the uncompromisingness of it. Because, um... What they could have done is made that boss um, really easy, like 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 easier than when you fight him earlier. Like earlier you fight him and he is a hassle. Like he destroyed us the first time we faced him, like super early in the game, during the big first plot twist. Then we fought him a second time when we were escaping while Gaia, and that time we fought him to a standstill, but that was still like a really tough fight. And what I like is that when you finally have to fight him for reals, they did not make him, like, arbitrarily easier. They could have, like, he, he would not have been as powerful, but they didn't. He felt just as powerful as when you face him the first couple of times in those fights you're forced to wait it out or, or lose in or whatever. Gosh, where the heck is this? Damn. Where did you get the map? There we go. That's where Cat's Island is. Tch. 
I was completely tossed and turned around. Um, so that's why it's cool. Like, when you fight him, he is still insanely difficult. Well, not insane. Well, he's still pretty challenging. And, and the reason you beat him is not because the developers of the game made him easier. It's because you yourself have gotten better stats and you've improved as a player. So it's more of like an honest test of your skill at that point. The, the same is, like, I've always touted this as one of my favorite bosses, if not my favorite boss, is the SAX in Metroid Fusion, when you finally fight the SAX at the end of the game. For those who don't know, it's a, it's a clone of Samus with all of Samus' abilities, basically. Her screw jump and um, ice beam. And she is insanely tough whenever you encounter her, like, previously in the game. Oh, let's have one fight with the Professor, why don't we? Just... To Test out how playing as the professor works. Let's see what this spell does. Photon! Good. That's a good move. Let's try smacking them just for chits and giggles. Uh, what happens if I... Okay then, never mind. We didn't get to see the professor's spells. <laughs> yeah, it was alright. So yeah, the SAX is like insanely tough. Like you're not supposed to fight it, uh, it, her, whatever you want to call it, when you first encountered the Metroid Fusion. Then at the final, the end of the game, you finally have the boss fight, and she is not any easier than when when she menaces you previously. It's because you've gotten the equipment and the skills that you can now go toe to toe with her, and that that felt like when I got into a fight the first time I was like Jesus, because she was so unrelenting the SAX. Then I was just like, okay, fine, let's do this. And then I, you know, long struggle, I finally beat her. It felt really satisfying because of it not being so uncompromising. And even though I was kind of sad that I so un un ungracefully beat Yggdrasil in this game, like, in hindsight, it still feels great that I, such a tough boss, I was able to, like, improve as a player and, like, in, in terms of my skill and my, like, equipment in the game to finally, like, beat that guy in a fight. Like, that, that, that's really, that feels, like, truly rewarding, and that's why I feel like that actually is the best boss in the game. I believe this is the Elder. The Elder on top of the mountain. Yep, this should work out. Then we just need to go back to Nel Tokyo. Why do the cats not want to see Noah, the guy in the other universe? That apparently you guys uh, know about? That's kind of weird. What's up with that? Meow. Long ago, Noah hunted our kind in name of research. It seems he wanted to study how to make us into pets for humans. So that's why the cats don't like him. I doubt anyone will go to Noah. But Noah is sick. We could at least go see him. Kid, if people who oppressed half-elves were sick, would you go pay them a visit? That's... Meow. Then I shall give you this. What's this? It is a suit Noah wore when he hunted us in the past. With this, you can become an imposter cat. Okay. Thanks. I wonder if Noah will be fooled by this. I don't know, but let's talk to Vice about it. Okay. We... Damn, you couldn't let me skip at this part of the game? We have to actually still travel all the way back to Tokyo. Fine, I can do it. Now that I know which way to fly. And that is straight south, I believe. I'm always lost on these maps. Apart from that, I haven't really come up with anything to amend, but just, that was just like spur of the moment. I was like, well, Kuchinawa was super fun to fight. And it's true, Kuchinawa is super fun to fight as a boss fight. But, um, yeah, the Yggdrasil is more Im impressive in that, in that sense, as a boss fight. And here we go. <laughs> if I can just... Wait a second. That's interesting. Zelos is not in his costume, and neither is the professor while we're flying on the rares. That's a bit odd, but okay then. Yeah, I'm always so lost in these world maps. 
the way is this away, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's Mel Tokyo. Okay, well. Now we just need to um just need to go back to the slums apparently and um I think we should be done with this side quest, hopefully. Yeah, here we go. Janus, how did it go? Vice. I'm sorry. The cats hate Noah and don't want to see him. I see. But I got a cat suit, so I'll meet Noah with this. Do you think that's a bad idea? No, please go see him. It's this way. Lloyd, let's go. Listen, genius. What? We're gonna lose sight of Vice. No, it's nothing. Honestly, come on, hurry! Yeah, that's gonna be Genius' costume. It's gonna be a cat suit. Mm. Genius, please talk to him. Right. Noah? Who's there? Uh, I'm a cat, meow. Oh, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Could you come closer? I, I can't see anymore. This is... Oh, what? Nothing. Thank you. Now I can finally go to Martel. What? My time is drawing to a close. And it seems my guide has come for me. No! Thank you, child. Seeing that cat suit brought back many memories. You knew! You knew? Of course I knew. The game's called Metal Gear Solid. I'm a cat's researcher. I can tell that much. Meow. We forgive you now. Cats! Thank you. Thank you. You came to me. I, I tried to capture you. Child, thank you as well. Now I truly have no regrets. Rain, save him! I'm sorry, it's, it's all ready. It's all right. Vice has come for me. Goodbye. Noah. Thank you, genius. Vice. Now I can go together with Grandpa. What? What are you talking about? I've been dead for a long time. Oh my god! You're the only one that was able to see me. I couldn't even get cats to notice me. Then you're a ghost? Thank you. And goodbye. So, he was a ghost. You all couldn't see Vice? That's right. I see. Vice, have fun with your grandfather. Meow. We'll bury Noah. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Yeah. Good, good God. That, that twist at the end was... Mm, I've been talking to dead people, apparently. I'm not a fan, I don't know, am I a fan or not? That was really messed up, That the, the way that turned all of a sudden. Well, there we go. Now, now we got him in her goofy cat costume. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what am I trying to do here now? There we go. Let's see now. I mean, mm, mm, it's not the terrible costume. It's just kind of bleh, kind of boring. It's too bad Jesus didn't get anything cooler. No, wait a second, he did because I gave him this costume. Oh, what was it say by the way? I forgot to read all this. I really should. A new shirt and pants are laid out for this day. You better behave yourself. And the cat's one is a miracle of love brought by a bit of kindness. A very heartwarming tale. And the beachcomber is straw hat and sandals. 
Older women won't be able to resist. Ugh. Not a fan of that at all. This costume's so dapper, though. I like it. This is one case where I prefer one of these costumes over the unique one. But I digress. Next one, we actually are gonna do Sheena's costume. This one's also a bit involved, but we've already done most of it. You have to do Sheena's duel with Kuchinawa, whether you win or lose, apparently, before you can get this costume. But we've done that. So it's all good. Now we just... Yeah, I'd rather fly around as the professor for now with her nifty suit. We just need to go to... Um... Mizuho, obviously. I mean, of course it's gonna be in Mizuho, the Sheena's part of the quest. And that is right this way. Alright. Yeah, I really should be running around as genius, shouldn't I? Just so everyone gets to show off their costumes for a little bit. And I'll even play as Gene. Like I said, I promise I'm try and play as all the characters I've been playing as so far. And I did one fight with uh, the professor, so let's run around as Genius for a bit. In this cutesy costume of his. Um, let's see. We need to go. I think we need to go to. I think this is Orochi. We need to go talk to him. Yeah. Strange moons are coming from the chief's house. I think it's the chief's voice. Is the chief awake? No, I haven't heard anything. Grandpa. Oh, did we know that before? That the chief was her grandpa? Uh huh. Okay, now we need to talk to Taiga here. I see a rumor like that. It is true that the chief's voice is heard periodically. Volt is... Volt... Grandpa! One, two, three... What's he saying? Huh, sounds like he's counting something, but... There are some missing... Grandpa, what's missing? It's no use. He always ends there. I wonder if it has something to do with Volt. Grandpa was with me in the Temple of Lightning when I failed to pact with Volt. He's been asleep since. Huh. How about visiting the Temple of Lightning once more? Yeah, Sheena, let's go have a look. There might be some clues. Yeah, I hope so. Well, now we go flying to the Temple of Lightning. So we'll take care of that. Yup. Um, now let's see now. Mm, Temple of Lightning is that island over there. Yeah, it's right nearby. Yup. Oh. I do like that these quests are rather straightforward once you then find them. The trick is just to figuring out to go look for them in the first place, I guess. Okay. One, two, three... That's Grandpa's voice! Okay, let's go! Oh man, we need to actually do part of the puzzle here, apparently. Oh, oh you know what? Fine, I can take you chumps on. Let's see how Genius works, playing as him. I hope this isn't the lightning spell. Oh, of course it's the damn lightning spell! That did decent damage for a lightning. You know, these guys are all lightning me. Why is there the. Why was there an X prompt there? I believe there's some way once you're casting a spell to like change the target while you're casting if you want to pick out who to target it on. The same with the professor if you want to heal characters. But, um, I. It seemed too finicky for me to want to even risk it, which is the main reason why I avoided playing as Genius and the professor in the game thus far. Um, what did he have? Oh, that's right. It is press A rapidly while casting spells to decrease casting time. That's right. That, that, that's why that prompt was there. I forgot I had that skill. Okay, let's see. Uh, 
We need to actually get to the freaking seal. Oh boy. Missed me. Well, I did say that this was like my favorite level in the game, so I think it's cool that we get to go back here, I guess. I'm just like... Mm, how, how did you navigate this area again? What was the way to get to the seal again? Was it this way? Or where are you supposed to go, like... Mm, can't for the life of me remember how you got to the seal in here. Is this easier to see all of a sudden? I remember this being like pitch black, but I can see the corridor kind of. Okay, now we are here. This was this crazy block puzzle, I remember. Okay, I am twist and turned around at this point. Um, no, stop going up that dam. Okay. What did this do now? It just does lightning, okay? That didn't help. How the heck did you get to the seal in this area again. I, for the life of me, I can't remember. There's a door over here. This just goes into this area again. Oh, we'll have a quick run around here. Oh, I had to press A, I believe, or X. Nope, that was the wrong button I pressed. Ugh. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, thank goodness I found that, because the true way to the seal is up these stairs. That's right. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot entirely. Gr Grandpa? Five, six. There are three missing. Grandpa, three missing what? What's missing? With just these, I cannot defeat Volt. Grandpa, it's me, Sheena. I made a pact with Volt. Grandpa! Sheena, summon Volt. If you do that, maybe he'll notice. Okay, I'll try it. I call upon the hammer of godly lightning. I summon thee. Come, Volt! Hello? Oh! What's going on? Mm hmm? Who are you people? Grandpa! Thanks, Volt. You can go back now. What? Did you make a pact with Volt? Sheena is going to be sad. Grandpa, it's me! I'm Sheena! What are you talking about? Sheena is only seven. Grandpa, it's been more than ten years since the Volt accident. I'm Sheena. I'm Sheena Fujibayashi, the child you found in Galrakia Forest. Are you really? But if so, then what have I? Maybe you're an astral body. Your heart separated from your body during the Volt accident. Is that possible? If he's using an X-Sphere, it's quite possible. It seems they make it easier for the heart and the body to separate. It's true that I and some of the villagers use x -fears. So then, that means I am just a consciousness. How do we save Grandpa? What if we return him to his body? How? Hmm, it's likely that it's just his consciousness that is lost. Let's take him back to the village. <laughs> Don't treat me like a baby. I have already come to understand this body. Let's see. Ah, ghost Hmm, this is pretty convenient. It seems a waste to return to my original body. Grandpa, this isn't the time to play around. Ah, ha, ha, ha. 
Don't get hungry. Well then, I shall go on ahead. Sheena, I'll be waiting for you at the village. Whoop. Grandpa! If he's in such good spirits, I'm sure there's no need to worry. Ah, <laughs> good spirits. That's a good pun, Professor. I like that. Well done. Let's return to Mizuho. Uh, just let me skip there really quickly, please. Yes. Sheena, the chief has awoken. Uh, yeah. Come, the chief awaits. Hurry. Grandpa. Sheena. Yes, Chief. Congratulations. 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 <coughs> what? You succeeded in making the pact with Walt. I'm very proud of you. Grandpa. Let's leave them alone for a little while. Oh, that makes me so happy that uh, Sheena had this, like, really heartwarming ending to her character arc which isn't quite done even yet we're gonna do some more Sheena stuff in a moment I've heard it seems we owe you a debt of gratitude for taking good care of Sheena and uh, nah. Taiga's plans will not change even though I am awake we the people of Mizuho will cooperate with you in building the world you seek yeah we'll work hard too in regards to that, we would like to have Sheena remain in the village for a short while. What for? Um, what for? I can't say right now. It is the chief's orders. It is nothing to worry about. Let's see. Just leave her with us for one night. I'm sorry, guys. I promise I'll be back, so please wait a little. All right. We'll go kill some time elsewhere and come back for you. Hey, I heard there's a casino in the... Uh, Altamira now, why don't we guys go play some craps? What are they doing? Well, we'll find out tomorrow, right? Yeah. Oh, this is odd. Wow, this is kind of really odd. I didn't realize we'd have a little scene to run around talking to everybody. Why isn't Prezea wearing her? Oh, I can't switch costumes now. Dang it, she's not wearing that made not made costume that little 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 formal costume <laughs> so that's the man that raids sheena he sure looks like he's strict apparently one of the things that gives you relationships in that relationship thing i talked about is when you have these kinds of scenes whoever you talk to first will get a boost it's all irre irrelevant now at the end of the game but um, would have been one of those secret things going on in the background of the game while you're going through Astral body. I wonder what I'd do if I became like that. No well, thanks for standing up and talking about that. <laughs> I wonder if Alicia too was an astral body. I wanted to save her. Well, let's get to bed. Oh, that's interesting. My, again, the whole relationship thing. You could only talk to a certain amount of people there. Dang. Oh my god, look at that! That costume! Sheena completed the ritual just moments ago. Sheena restored all twelve of the lost guardians. Thus, Sheena shall become the next chief. Are there any objections? If Sheena's power will open a new world to us, then even those of us who bear the scars from Volt will have no choice but to recognize Sheena. Yes, but for now, congratulations, Sheena. Congratulations, next chief! Oh, wow, that's cool. That's, that's, this is so cool. I mean, Genesis was really weird, his side story. Befriending a little urchin. Well, I think that, I guess that's very genusy of him to befriend these people in trouble. So I get that. But it was just such a random story about this ghost kid and cats and stuff. Honestly. But this, this is hype. This is really cool. Thank you, everyone. Sheena, in order to truly be recognized as chief, you must reunite the world. Do your best for Kuchinawa's sake as well. Wow, nothing nothing too heavy, I guess. We just save the freaking world? <laughs> yeah, I'll do my best to become a chief who will make Kuchinawa want to come back. Lloyd, as you see, Sheena has been chosen to become the next chief. So that was it. It was for those preparations that Sheena stayed in the village. 
Shina is currently working to bring new hope to the people of Mizuho. The new world brought about by reuniting the worlds, right? Yes, so we wish to lead the village into new prosperity by naming her as the next chief. I'll work hard to reunite the worlds and to allow the people of Mizuho, and all life, to find hope. Alright! Let's do our best, Sheena! Yeah! Then everyone, I leave my granddaughter, Sheena, in your care. Now, apparently we're not quite done. Oh, we got a skit even. Damn. そんな。<笑> Well, you got you've got me on that. この良き日に棟梁となった私はここで経営方針について挙げておくべきだ。経営ね。まあ、民を引き入るのも経営みたいなもんか。ああ、いや、これ、he's <laughs> Oh man, that, that really brought a smile to my heart. So let's see now, really quickly. Sheena's thingy here. She's got successor. The successor of the Igaguri style. She leads the Mizuho to protect their tradition. Also got this queen of the beach, I suppose. She does not seem to be aware of it, but all eyes are glued on her. It was quite the, uh, quite the costume, now wasn't it? Alrighty. Run around as a Sheena as a bit. So this costume's like not like super flashy or elaborate. But what I like about it is that it's like a traditional ninja costume when she's been wearing that really elaborate ninja costume so far. So I think that's kind of really funny that the, her costume is to look like a more proper ninja. I, I like that. Um, so before we leave, we can still talk to one of these guys. I think uh, Igaguri. Hmm, what is it? What was it you were counting in the Temple of Lightning? Oh, that. Those were the twelve guardians that protect this village. At the time of the vault accident, Grandpa gave me three of the guardians. The guardians you used when you were going after Colette were... Oh, those freaking boss monsters when we fought Sheena. I get it. Yes, those. Every chief uses them to protect the village. I completely forgot about doing that. I didn't even realize I had become a spiritual being, and was looking for the Guardians in order to defeat Volt in Sheena's place. Wow, you really loved Sheena. <laughs> cool. Oh, hang on. We're supposed to get an item for doing that. Hold on now. When I was cleaning the room, I found this. Ah, the Kanatsuki. Thanks, Grandpa. This is a Apparently the best armor for Sheena. Well, it certainly is quite a big boost to defense. Oh, it reduces damage from wind-based attacks by 50%. That's cool. Also, that costume looks super cool too. I don't wish she would actually get that instead of this ninja costume. Well, I can't really complain. That's a that's a really nice ninja costume in any case. <laughs> でもこれで<笑> <laughs> oh man, this this really made me happy. This side quest, but I'm biased. I think I've made clear who my favorite character in the game is. 
Okay, three characters left. Uh, two of them are here in... Oh, one of them is even in Mel Tokyo again. Damn. Are here in Teziala, but I want to save the best for last, so we're going to go swing by Silverant really quickly. There is one costume there. Okay. It's a costume for the professor, so you will probably guess what costume we're going to go get right now as we're flying there. It should be. It might become rather clear in a second. So, hold on now. There it is. We return to the City of Ruins, Asgard. Should we check out Luin really quickly? See, like at what status we are. Because I've got this list in this um, guide I've printed about all the different tiers of upgrades you get to Luin. And for example, the music has not changed yet. It's still this mournful one. If you do enough... enough... Um, of these uh, donations, the music changes. Uh... And that's like tier 7, so we're not even at tier 7 yet. There's 15 tiers of upgrades. Several of which are um, around 50,000 gold. One of which is 100,000 gold. So I just cannot grind all of that money, no matter how much I wanted to. I don't have the stamina to do that. Uh, it's a bit of a shame, because a couple of cool things we would have gotten from doing that. And you get like statues of Lloyd and Sheena and stuff in the in the city once it's like all rebuilt because they build them in your honor. That's really cool. But regrettably, it's too much of an effort for me. So then, we're back here in Asgard, city of ruins. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We need to go back to the dais, dais, da the, the platform where we fought the Windmaster. Remember that guy? It's kind of a one-note thing, but... Um... Oh! Rain! Oh, Aisha, what's wrong? Oh, I'm so glad I found you. I've been searching forever. For me? Yes. Would you please come see the mayor? All right. Oh, Rain! Good timing! What is it? The tourists who saw you perform the ritual on the stone dais are demanding that we show it to them again. Would you please step up upon the dais as an acolyte? Hmm. Come on, Professor, do it. Yes, I'd like to see it too. And those of us from Teziella have only heard about it. How about it? Show us your beautiful form, Rain. All right, but just this once. Thank you so much. Let us go to the dais at once. I believe I commented when we first did this thing where she had this costume that I wish you could keep this. Well, it turns out you don't really keep it so much as you get it back later in the game. Oh, the acolyte is so beautiful. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be her fan. Oh, Rain, you're such a wonderful person. Well... She's got more fans. It's because they don't know what she's really like. Hooray! So... Let's see that real quickly. We got this as well. The perfect body. It's a charming word, part two. Pity that it's not a white kimono with a red skirt. But, you know, that, a Miko outfit would have been fun too, I guess. Now that I think about it. But it is a cool costume too. I I think it's pretty cool. I'm glad that you do get it eventually. Unfortunately, the other costume we got for her is the best costume in the game. So, like, what am I gonna do? I have to wear this one. It's so rad. Like, I don't even know how to put it into words. It's really hard to describe when you just really like something. So, you guys at home are probably just like, why is he so hype about this costume? Well, first of all, actually, I lied when I said that's the best costume. There's one more costume coming up, and I, I, I just know the description. I know it's going to be the best costume. 
but that's like a close second easily that one the the professor's costume but i just i just it's just very pleasing to my eye I, it's just such a cool cool attire for her that's all i can say Now then, since we're saving the best for last, the next guy we need to get a costume for is Regal. And that requires us to head back to Meltokyo Castle. Gosh darn it. That's like, what, four costumes have been in Meltokyo now? I mean, that, that's cool. Yeah, three so far, and this is gonna be the fourth one. Sure, why not, I guess. It is the wrong way. Need to go. Oh, come on. Bend it. No, oh, I should save the game while I'm heading this away. So you see that that was just a super short, the quest there. It's kind of... I don't know. They're really uneven, these quests. Kind of. But I... Because some of them are, like, really elaborate, but this one was, like, really short for the professor and whatnot. But maybe because there's, like, other side quests with more content in them. Like, I think we unfortunately missed out on one that's, like, a really big plot twing thing plot thing for the professor and genus i'll try to see if we can get it still but this guide says that it may have been a time thing that it's too late to get it now unfortunately i will try it after we've gotten all the costumes but unfortunately it may be too late but maybe that's why we get less this costume quest for for rain Oh, gee, okay, I need to think of an evil chef voice. Damn it. What, who's like a... Hmm. A Guy Fieri. W what does he sound like? Wait! Hand over the ultimate recipe! This is for my successor! What are you doing? Shut up! Amateurs who know nothing about cooking should just stay out of the way. But it is those amateurs that you cook for. If you look down upon your audience, you will never be able to make good food. Wow, uh, apologies to Guy Fieri. <laughs> I, I did not mean to imply that of you, sir. Don't, don't take me on a pain train to Flavortown or whatever the heck you do, sir. What did you say? It is as he says. I can't entrust this recipe to someone who doesn't possess the heart for cooking. Farewell. The Wonder Chef got away because of you. You're gonna pay for it. You in a fight? Yeah, a cooking battle. Wh what? Huh, <laughs> very well. What? Yes, that's right. It's gonna be a cook off. I'll choose the recipe. All right, beef stew. Oh, that's kind of fun. We learn a new recipe while we do this thing. Ugh, what the? Regal's cooking. This is very... Original flavor. Ah, what is this food? It can't be. I made it the same way I've always made it. Th this demonic flavor, it's... Ah, oh, I'm gonna die! Damn you! You've poisoned me! No, I never intended. Damn! I can't compete against something this fearsome. Man, look, he even looks really evil. He's not like a devil's fork, pitchfork thing for his giant fork. This is strange. What did I do wrong? <laughs> oh my god, all according to the professor's keikaku. That was a marvelous battle, Regal Bryant. Whoa, he came back again. In commemoration of your victory in the cooking showdown, I have a gift for Regal! Victory, huh? He won by losing. This is... You can feel the heartbeat of this costume! Become the next Wonder Chef and pursue the path of cooking! Hey, wait! Why was that weird cook after you? 
He was not after me, but the ultimate recipe that is passed on by my family from one generation to the next. They are agents of the Dark Chef Alliance. I guess there's a lot more to this than I thought. In order to save the hearts of cooks that have fallen to evil, we of the Wonder Chef family are always looking for a successor. Regal, keep it up. You have the necessary qualities. But I... No. I hear the cries of those suffering at the hands of the Dark Chefs. Farewell! Okay, that's actually really funny. There's chef lore we got here. I'm okay with that. Well, I will take these clothes with gratitude. Yeah, wear that and cook some good food for us again. Understood. God of the kitchen! Damn. So, um, I know they've been pushing this, like, cooking angle on Regal. It's been subtle, but I've noticed it in the game. So, I, I, I don't know. The problem is, I just don't think that's a very cool costume, being a chef. That's kind of a letdown to me. And, uh, heh. I mean, mm, I mean, I, yeah, it's, it's a fine costume, but, like, the chef is kind of... Kind of boring. Okay, but this one, guys, for fans of Namco Bandai, this next, this final costume, oh boy. This is the costume when, when I was reading, like, all the costumes I missed out on that I could have had in the main game. This one really, like, annoyed me, unfortunately, because, like, I would have so wanted to have this in the game while I was playing the game proper. <laughs> it's too cool. It's a costume for Prezea, obviously, because she's the only one missing a unique costume. Well, her and Lloyd, but, you know, I can't do the Luin thing, so I just can't get Lloyd's costume. Unfortunately. But I can get this one for Prezea. I hope, oh, please let me get this costume. And then I'm going to be pretty happy, costume-wise. Yeah, these costumes have been overall pretty good. I really like them. We get to go to the Lizareno company. And, you know, a couple of stinkers, but since the characters have a wide variety of costumes, there's probably something you'll find there that you enjoy. Okay, we need to... Uh, hold on now. Uh, oh, yeah, we need to talk to the, um, the president, George. Well... Look, he has, he's in a bit of a pickle here. What to do? And it was Altamira's new mascot as well. What's wrong? Master Eagle! Today is the day we are introducing Altamira's new mascot. Uh, also, why are you dressed as a chef? You look ridiculous. Stop that. But the ECU with the costume isn't here yet, and it's past its scheduled arrival. What kind of costume is it? It is called Klonoa, and is about the height of a child. Yeah, baby, it's Klonoa? It has big, long, droopy ears, and looks somewhat like a cat, and... Uh, yes, much like Prezea. George! Oh, Prezea, please come here a moment. Is it gonna happen? <gasps> oh, you guys, you guys are so excited! Now then, it's time to announce the new mascot of the island resort city of Altamira. <gasps> ah! The keyword is Wahoo! It's Klonoa! Wahoo. L l let's have a round of applause. <gasps> Yay! It's Klonoa! Brzea, thank you so much! Wahoo. You were incredibly cute, Prezea. Loopal do. Prezea, have you forgotten how to talk? Wahoo, wahoo. Huh. When wearing the Klonoa costume inside Altamira, one must not speak anything other than Klonoan. Wahoo. That's our Prezea. She's completely into the character. Yeah, we're the dream traveler. 
Oh, that, that's so cool that they have a Klonoa cameo in this game. One of the best PlayStation games, in my humble opinion. The legendary Klonoa has traveled to the moon and the world of four bells. That's so cool. That, that's so cool. A cute dress that favors her charm, but no words of praise may reach her. There's also a thing. Okay, we have, I believe, every costume now. Um, so we're gonna now fill up the party with all the cool costumes that are my favorites. And that's gonna be... Uh... Uh, da -da -da -da. No, no, what am I doing? Hold on now. Put you in there, and... Man, Zelos' mask costume is kind of boring now compared to everyone else, because it's just like a headgear on top of his usual costume. Everyone else is, like, really elaborate. I mean, even the chef and the cat outfit are, like, pretty elaborate, all things given. Um... Da -da 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 -da. Man, let's get regal with that freaking formal attire. His dandy attire. While we're here, I think I think this is the best ones. Now then, oh man, that's so cool. Now then, there is possibly one more costume thing we can do, and then we're gonna be done with costume mania. Oh, oh, we need to talk to this person too. Get back. I forgot. Um, now let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so we need to at this point we need to talk about the different versions because I believe again this game is based on the PlayStation 3 version. For example, the 30 FPS that everyone um, complains about online. And okay, that sounds douchey of me. I, I'm not meaning to put down the concerns of people with that, but I'm just not invested in the argument myself. The problems with the 30 FPS first cropped up in the uh, the, um, blah, 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 the PlayStation 3 port, so I believe this port is based on that. And in the PlayStation 3 port, there is a slew of new costumes to get to characters, uh, at the, uh, near, towards the end of the game. Now, unfortunately, this one might be too late for us to get, um, it's for Colette. So, this is like, you cannot get all of them in the first playthrough. Oh, cool! ワフ。<笑><笑> That was a great talk. I hope she makes those noises when she wins in combat while wearing the Klonoa outfit. Um, so yeah, these these new costumes in the PlayStation 3 version are very dependent on the relationship thing. Um, a lot of them you can only get if you for the character you chose to go out with in Flanoir during that scene. And we went out with Colette, so basically... We have, we have chances of getting Clon Colette's costume. Chances. This says, uh, immediately after spending the night in Heimdall before entering Torrent Forest. Now, unfortunately, we have done Torrent Forest. But let's see if maybe, it, by the grace of uh, Santa Claus, they might let us do it anyway. It's here at Dirk's house. Um... Let's see... Nope, it looks like we don't get it. Oh wow, what, what the? Well, we get something extra though. Holy crap! Apologize to mom. Right. Whatever the reason, I took her life. No, not for that. Apologize for what you did to get Origin released for putting yourself in danger to help us. She must have been worried sick looking down on that. Maybe so. Whew! 
Well, I'm glad we got that, though. That was a really nice scene. Um, so, for your guys' benefit, I did look up this one, like, how to get this one extra thing. Since it looked like I wouldn't get it, and unfortunately, yeah, we uh, did not get it this time, this, this final costume. It was so, like, moment-dependent on the game. Uh, Colette would trip into the lake, lake, well, the river, and get wet. Uh, her so clothes would get soaked. And Lloyd would hand her a, p a spare suit of her of his own clothes. Which means that uh, Colette would get to dress up as uh, Lloyd. Which is kind of a really fun, like, costume to have someone, you know, have a different character's dress for the character. But we missed out on that. There's also... You can get uh, Sheen and Zella some sort of costume, I think, relating to the two of them. Mm. You can get for Lloyd and Kratos if you go out with Kratos in Flanoir. Genius and Prezea can get a pair of costumes if you go out with one of them. Regal can get a costume. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, so the Professor's costume has nothing to do with the, uh, with the scenes in... In uh, the scenes there in uh, what's it called? Uh, Le Flan Noir. The, pr the professor's fi extra new costume is a prize in the casino in Altamira. It's the grand prize. It would take an insane amount of gameplay to get the. Uh, get it unfortunately so we're not gonna be doing that so we're done with costumes yay there's still some plot stuff we should resolve some plot resolutions and then there's some bosses we can take on the first one is actually pretty much where it all began we are going back to martel temple we should be able to find something really interesting in martel temple now that we've wrapped all this up let's go see uh i've been I have to walk back on something I said this year. Uh, when I did Rise of the Tomb Raider, I was maybe not as hostile to DLC and microtransactions as a lot of people online. Um, I, I, I wasn't exactly positive for them either, but because I, I, I don't really like DLC at all, but I was like, mm, well, if they want to make that, that's fine. But I've been reading a lot of talk about that, and I'll get back to that in a second later. Because, let's go with Sheena's plot! I'm sure about this. Corrine is here. But there wasn't a summon spirit here, Sheena. But I can feel him! I can feel Corrine! Let's go further in, please, Lloyd. Okay, sure, let's go. Um, let's see, well, there's just a warp here, so I better not talk further about this. Was it just my imagination? He, he doesn't seem to be here. Sheena. What? Corrine's bell is... What? Corrine. Corrine, is that you? Sheena, descendant of those who control powers of summoning. You who showed me the human heart. You're not Corrine? Desire, generosity, laughter, sadness, anger, violence, concern, love, hate. What the heck is it saying? What will I ultimately gain from the human heart? I, Various, pose this question upon you. Now show me. Here it comes! <gasps> I have felt your hearts. Anxiety, regret, impatience, loneliness. But even greater hope, courage, and love. We're not gonna fight? I exist to observe all beings that possess a heart. I form no pacts. I will be bound by no one. You said your name was Various. Who are you? Sheena, 
I am the one who was once known as Corrine, the summon spirit that's had the longest contact with the human heart. Contact with the human heart? When my strength was fading, human hearts held on to me. All human emotion, both negative and positive, changed me into the summoned spirit of heart, various. Oh, wow, the missing element! Heart! So you are Kareen, right? Yes. Yes, you can say that. I am Kareen. We can be together again, right? You'll come with me, right? Kareen. No. I shall become part of the world and watch over all those that possess heart. No. Sheena, descendant of summoners, I cannot go with you. However, my heart will be with you. For my existence as the Summon Spirit of Heart was established by touching your hearts. Our hearts will be together. Yes, they will as long as you, as long as people have hearts. I shall be with all people, and I shall continue to walk with you, Sheena. As long as we have hearts? Never forget. Your promise with me is your heart. Okay, so this guide was super short on this, so it just said, go up to see Corrine again. I did not expect him to have achieved Final Fusion for their final form. Wow! Our hearts. This is great, Sheena. Corrine is back. That's right. If it was the human heart that brought Corrine back as various, it was your heart that did it, Sheena. No, it was because of all of you. It was your hearts that brought Various and me together. Thank you, everyone. So that didn't really serve any, like, gameplay purpose, but it was more plot stuff. We get a lot of this stuff here towards the end. And this one is... Okay, so you can get it after the duel with Kuchinawa, so... You can technically get this before the Doctor scene, so I'm gonna guess you get, like, huge... Um, relationship buffs for Sheena if you do that. Okay, next side thing I want to do... Um, there's a couple more. We need to go to Heimdall. There's a couple of things in Heimdall I want to take care of. The City of the Elves we can apparently go back to. So let's uh, just head on that away. And as I was saying about the... Um, yeah, since this is a year in review show, I need to apologize for... Well, I don't know, apologize, but, like, I need to walk back a little bit of what I said, because no one really called me out, but there's been a lot of talk about microtransactions and the new thing that is loot boxes that is, like, that is really questionable. I had not realized how bad the situation was until this year. Um, there's been a lot of talk about how, apart... I mean, I knew it was nickeling and diming you, microtransaction, obviously. But, um... There's also the, the idea that it devalues the game experience. The cut content thing, which I think I mentioned in my Rise of the Tomb Raider talk. But, um... It's a more pronounced problem, I believe, in Tales of Berseria, which, by the way, Santa Claus was kind enough to grant me Tales of Berseria. So that might be showing up on the Minsk and Friends channel much sooner than you think. Maybe. I'm, I need to take a break from Tales for a bit, but um, the idea's there. Because um, this game had all these cool costumes in it. It was so much fun doing these side quests, and it felt, like, really valuable that we got these costumes. Especially the ones which was, like, you had to pick the um, beach and formal costumes to have the ones you want. So, th some of that, like, the the value there is lost when it becomes, when it's cut out and you just pay real money to get it, like, is the point that people said. And that is kind of like a, is, I will admit, that is kind of a sad thing. And, like, apparently Tales of Berseria is kind of, like, I don't know, obviously, I have not played it. I don't know how many costumes there are defined in that game. But, like, I did see that there's a lot of DLC costumes for that, and I guess it's true. It is kind of unfortunate that uh, there's just a bunch of DLC thing you can get instead of... Um, instead of just, you know, earning them in the game, so to speak. I guess my thesis hasn't changed super much, because that's the kind of the thing I was saying in Tomb Raider too. I didn't really want to use the DLC costumes, because those felt like free stuff. While the costumes that I got in the game were really great. 
And I guess this is where I just, I, I, I can't help but be more lax in this sense, so I have to disagree with people. Um, the costumes in Rise of the Tomb Raider were enough for me, so that extra stuff was, felt like extra stuff to me. That said, to other people, that's not extra stuff, that is content being gated away by, um, by making it microtransactions, and I understand that frustration. I would be, I would hate it if there were no costumes to be gained there, you had to... You had to buy all of them by money. I would absolutely hate it as well. So I understand people who are like feel like they are missing out on stuff. Myself, I just see it again as like extra stuff. So that's why I didn't feel as bad at the time. But like, um, like this Klonoa costume, like it feels great that it was just like a cute little side thing in the game, and that you know, I didn't really earn it because I'm reading a fucking guide here. But like, um, the idea that you can just get it in the game if you're good enough. To figure it out, how to get it. it it's cool. It's, it, it feels better than, you know, if I just have spent, like, a couple of euros to buy it. And I will admit, to the pur purpose of transparency, I have spent a couple of euros on microtransactions this year. I did buy a couple of things in Street Fighter V. Again, that's one of those things where I'm like... I don't like the idea of DLC, just like, generally, it's, it's a bit annoying. But um, I do feel like if the company wants to make extra content for the game later, I, I feel like it's in the company's rights to put a price tag on it, not just make it for free. That said, again, you get to the point of you never know if the company is cutting content out which they would have were developing, and then selling that instead of, like, developing new stuff afterwards. So, so I, I get, I get, it is just, I absolutely agree with people that it would be better if there just wasn't microtransaction, if everything just was gainable in games. Like, the hassle involved in dealing with micro DLCs is still, like, to me, annoying. I just happen to because, um, well, I don't know, it just... They were like a really cool couple of pieces of like extra stages in Street Fighter, so I did drop the copper pieces for that, I suppose. So I guess my morals are compromised in that sense. My my apologies. Also, I, I bought like I did not buy Street Fighter V for full price. I bought it super cheap because um, a department store here in Finland was going bankrupt, so it was like on a super big sale. So I didn't feel too bad like giving some extra money to Capcom. Like I said, I'm happy with Capcom ma uh, making more stuff to the game. And I do feel like a lot of the new characters in Street Fighter V are new additions to the game, like not something that they cut while developing. Now, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, the fact that the DLC characters came out like a couple of weeks after the game was released, like, like less than a month, that's pretty fishy. And I have not put any extra money into Marvel vs. Capcom, because that I don't... I find that a little suspicious. I'm not cool with that. Okay, back to the main stuff now. Heh, <laughs> what's a half elf doing here? Ricardo, have you, have you forgotten that we were saved by these people? Ma, if the elves were to truly rise up, we could do any. You didn't do anything yourself, so shut up! That's... It is as the boy says. We decided to stay neutral. Since we are the ones that made that choice, your words serve only as an insult to these people and to us elves. But I know I won't lose to this half-elf. I've trained under you, Master Crowley. Let me try fighting him. We don't have time for that. If mana is exhausted, magic will be unusable. And soon the Earth will lose all power and be destroyed. Mm. When peace comes, I'll duel with you. Of course, there's no question that I'll win. Then hurry up and save this land and come back to challenge me. I'll be waiting for you, so don't die. So that was an extra plot bit there. Oh, it's not done yet, sorry. I apologize for the rude behavior of my apprentice. But I think he was cheering on, Genus. Cheering on a half-elf in his own way. Yeah, I think so too. I promise I'll come back alive and have a magic duel with him. To do that, you're gonna have to fight against those powerful angels, yes. As a show of my appreciation for saving our lives, I shall pass my technique on to you. What? But I'm a half-elf! Now you're saying something that we don't have the time to argue about. I have passed this art to Ricardo as well. Learn it for the day you will duel with him. 
Genus, go ahead and learn it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. Please. Yes. So this is apparently Genus' most powerful spell. You get it here at the end of the game. After you get the Darius Emblem, which is like... I think when you do um, Well Gaia, the re repeat of Well Gaia. We can come back here and get Genus' best spell. We got a cool title for him that we can't use because he has to be wearing his dapper costume. I'll use this spell and regenerate the land. Take care. Yes, when that time comes, I shall grant my secret art to the victor. <laughs> yeah, I'll do my best. Let's see, I believe, yeah, I believe that is the final lesson. Yeah, that's the best spell for Genus. Let's see now. Where is it? Meteor Storm. It's not an elemental, it calls on a meteor shower, but it costs 80 technical points. I'm not all that surprised that it would cost so much. You probably should use it like once in a fight at some point, for the heck of it, but... There's one more plot thing here in Noish. We need to go... The little boy just inside Heimdall. By the way, this village is in really good condition. Even though it was just nuked a while ago. One of these kids? Well, we got a cutscene, I think it is. Protozoans became extinct a long time ago. I'm not making it up. Protozoans really do exist. You believe me, don't you? That's a protozoan. The first animal born in this world. Do you know about it? No, I've never heard of it. Protozoans are primeval life forms. They continue to evolve throughout their lives. Evolve? Like a Pokemon? Protozoans are born as single life life forms, single cell life forms. In their first evolution, they evolve into a creature known as an Aquan. Aquan? A life form that looks much like a fish. After that, it evolves into a bird-like life form called Eros. And then into a life form that runs on land called Arshis. Then next, into Fenril Ra. And finally, into a human who hunts evil. A single species changes its form that much. Yes, it is truly a life form that spends its whole life evolving. However, because of their abilities, they were used in battle during the ancient war and became extinct. The last protozoan was seen 4,000 years ago. But I saw it! It was a protozoan evolved into Arshis! Are you sure it wasn't something else? Many living things run across the land. Oh hey there, Noish. Arshis! What? The legendary Arshis? Hmm. I knew it. I saw it in a book. Arshis has big ears and runs fast like the wind. What are you talking about? Noish is a dog. Noish? Is that this Arshis's name? I'm telling you, he's a dog. It's an Arshis. Arshis, the evolved form of a protozoan? Yeah, how could you mistake him for anything else? What? No, she's a dog! I've been wondering about that. He's awfully strange looking for a dog. Oh my god, the, the green fur wasn't a giveaway. <laughs> but he has a tail and he howls. So that means he's either a dog or a wolf, right? He, he doesn't seem wolfish, so I thought he was a dog. Protozoans are a proud ancient species. They're the second oldest after the elves. Really? Hmm. Okay, but Noish is Noish, so I don't care if he's a pro or not. It's Protozoan. So there you go, the freaking mystery of Noish is finally revealed. And I think there's like a couple of scenes where Kratos is interacting with Noish. So that like kind of explains because Kratos is like 4,000 years old, so I guess... That's where he knew the dog from is from a thousand years ago, because he's some sort of this some sort of weird 
Pokemon thing. Okay, couple more plot points. We're gonna go to Ozette, and then we're gonna swing back to Meltokio. We just cannot escape that happening town, can we? Um, Ozette is this always. Oops. We smashed into the force field around the Tower of Salvation. That's weird that their costumes, like, despawn when they're on the rears. Cool, Professor. This is why Genus has no pets, right? All right, well, Ozette, let's, let, hey, come on. Here we go, this guy has now appeared here. He would not be here until we watch the final scene before going to fight Mythos. There was once a man who lived in this village and was like a fierce demon. His battle axe is said to have unleashed fearsome attacks. Brzea, you're still alive. Who are you? My name is Ralph. I was once a member of the Papal Knights, along with your father. The Papal Knights? Brzea's father? <laughs> Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead? Yes. During the era of the previous Pope, Zieg was the greatest of the Knights. There was no equal when he had an axe in his hands. But then, why did Daddy become a woodcutter? It was because of a special attack move that Zieg developed. It was so incredibly powerful that every single member of the Knights studied it from Zieg. And the nature of the Knights transformed into a dark organization. They became drunk on the power of the move. Yes, Zeke lamented it and taught the true move to me alone. He then became a woodcutter. So that's why Daddy knew people from the castle and the aristocracy. Arist aristocracy, uh, the, the fancy people. I'm glad you're alive. I must tell you your father's message. Daddy's message? As he looked on after you lost your soul, Zeke realized that he would soon die. And he left me a message for you. Daddy, what did Daddy say? Do not lose to your own darkness. Hmm. You have a heart. Even if you lost your time and emotions, that truth does not change. And the heart can be easily swayed. That is its nature. And that is precisely why the heart gives birth to darkness. Yes, I understand that. Everyone is like that. Everyone has darkness in their hearts. A true human being is someone who can control it. Controlling the darkness in one's heart, it is very difficult. Unlike the Papal Knights, Zieg conquered his darkness. I too held off the darkness. Do you know how? I don't know. Oh wow. I'm gonna go with the friend one, that sounds cool. Oh shit, yeah, actually, hold on. Oh good, I picked the right one. So I forgot to read. I, I, I forgot to read thoroughly this advice here, and there totally is. You have to choose one. Fortunately, I picked the right one. It's the friend one. Was it because you had a friend? Friend. Yes, the trust between friends strengthens each other's hearts. I too had a friend who I could trust and rely on. I had Zeke, and Sieg had you. It looks like you have found good friends as well. Uh -huh. Trust them. And when you grow weary, come see me. I will tell you stories of Zieg. I will. Lloyd, let's continue to be friends. Of course! We'll light the darkness in your heart. Oh, that was really sweet too. Let's see if we can talk to him now. Trust your friends. So that's like a nice little extra addition, but there's more to this. We're not going to do it this episode because we are level 68. If you grind up to level 80, 
you can come talk to Ralph again, and he will give um, Prezea's strongest weapon, the Gaia Cleaver, to her, apparently, according to this guide. Which is pretty cool. If you put the time in. Of course, level 80, like, you can easily beat the final boss without even needing any stronger weapons. Speaking of those, uh... We need to go to the jail in Meltokio's castle now. So, let's um, mosey that away. I... I guess I can, while we're going there, like, my plans for next year. Um, we're playing Prey now, which is a game I really love. Uh, by the way, I have, like, an episode recorded up to February, if we're perfectly honest. So, don't wonder if I'm talking, like, weirdly, like, back in time and not talking about current events. Because, like, I had to really squeeze out a bunch of episodes before the holiday season. Because I knew I wouldn't have a lot of time to record then. So, we're doing Prey. I don't know what to play after Prey yet, but that game is so huge, I got a lot of time to think about that. And we're playing Skyborn already. Well... Did I just spoil it? I guess I did, because the first episode hasn't come out yet. Well, a game called Skyborn is going to be starting out tomorrow, so look forward to that, guys. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway... That's a short game as far as I know, so I can maybe get it done in like uh, 20 or so episodes. I already know what game I'm going to be playing after that. It's not really an RPG, I guess. It's more of an action game, maybe, but it's got RPG elements. I don't know how to classify it. And I don't know how long that one's going to take. That one might take a while. So I might play Tales of Berseria once I'm done with that. There's so many JRPGs, I'm never going to be able to play all of them for you guys. The, all the ones I want to, unfortunately. There's so many that I just want to play, you know, for you guys. Because I love these JRPGs, but... I don't want to just get stuck playing only Tales games. Well, first of all, there's only three of them on the PC, so I guess that's not a huge deal. Please announce a port of one of the older ones already, please. But I would like to play Tales of Berseria for you guys someday, but not- not- I wanna take- I wanna play something a little different before we go there. All I can say is that, um... The next game after, um... After Skyborn... Um... How should I put this, uh... It's gonna be real good. Is gonna be real good. <laughs> Puzzle that one out, why don't ya? Okay, we are here in the jail in Mel Tokyo. That's where we need to go. There's a prisoner here we need to talk to. You got out? That's good. Prison doesn't suit you. What happened to Levin? He got out too. Who's Levin? He's the master who taught me to fight with Greaves. If it were not for him, I might have lost my life in the arena. What? Why would you die in the arena? Prison is more fight than the beasts in the arena. I had given up fighting, regretting that I killed Alicia with my hands. Levin told me to fight with more feet. Of course, that's merely sophistry. But he persuaded me to continue living until Varley was captured. And that is why I'm here today. But yet your face looks troubled. I feel that not using my hands when facing a powerful enemy is burdening my companions. So that's why you've come to see Levin. Go to the hot spring at the House of Guidance. He should be there. May we go there? Uh, let's see. Um... Yeah, of course we're going there. You bet. Thank you. I want to clear away my hesitation. Hot springs it is, then. Um, the, the latter half of this year was a bit of a bust for me, unfortunately, and that's why I couldn't record any Skyrim, like, since summer. Like, I was, like, kind of sweating at first, like, oh, are we going to have time to record a second summer episode of Skyrim? Well, not only could we not do that, but we missed out on autumn completely in Skyrim episodes. It's just been a hectic time for all involved, and I just, I just don't like bothering my friends about this stuff. They're busy people with other stuff, so, you know, I have not felt like hassling them about let's record some Skyrim. I'm, I'm happy we got that summer episode done, at least. That felt good. I, I, like, I, 
I really enjoy filming episodes with other people, so I really would enjoy like if, if someone, some of my friends, could make it for another one. But it's a, it's a busy life for everyone involved. So the best I can do is keep cranking out episodes by my myself. I mean, it's not like I don't enjoy this as well. I, I, I like I was saying in the final couple of episodes of Tales of Symphonia, I find, I've been finding it's very rewarding to play games in a let's play format because I really feel like I get into these games more by you know, like playing it for you guys like really putting myself in there like I feel my game completion rate has been a lot better when it comes to these games than when it comes to me playing on my lonesome it seems I have difficulties like committing to a game these days because I myself am busy with a lot of stuff that has nothing to do with games uh, let's see is he here? Oh, oops. Hello, everyone. We have been waiting for you. The remodeling work on the hot springs is complete. By all means, please enjoy the waters of our church's prized bath. Oops. Now we're doing this side quest. I didn't mean to do this, but okay. We're doing the obligatory hot springs episode in addition to the obligatory beach episode, apparently. I was supposed to just look for a master level. But... Wow! A hot spring is like a big bathtub, right? Let's go in! <laughs> the water here is marvelous. Come on, let's go in. I'll show you around. Well, that's so cool seeing everyone in costumes like that. Ta-da! This is the pride and joy of the Church of Martell, the Carlan Hot Spring. Hey. Didn't this place used to have separate baths for males and females before the renovation? And now that you mention it, there's only one bath. You've got to be kidding me. I'm not going in there with you guys. <laughs> All right, then. It seems like the only sensible choice. <laughs> You're no fun. Whatever, let's just go in. Oh, wow. Can we get these as costumes? <laughs> bath robes? Ah, this feels great. No, oh, it's too bad Sheena and the others could not enter as well. Oh yeah, the girls should just come in here by themselves after we're done. Good idea, then they can come in without worrying. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Zelos, don't do this. Okay, well, I guess we didn't have to go in. We didn't have to do any creepy Zelos adventures, thankfully. Oh, hey, it's a... Meow. It's a cat. All right, then. Oh, there's the shock about the Tower of Salvation. Where is Master Levin now? Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like he's here. So... Never mind, then. I guess... Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I thought you could meet Levin at this point, but just like Prezea at level 80, you get the weapon. When you hit level 80 with Regal, then you can meet Levin here, and you will get Regal's best weapon, the Dynast. But we are a bit off that level, so... Hmm. I think there would have been some more Hot Spring. Yes. We could have had some more... Hot spring hijinks, but I think I'm good in that department. Okay, we're almost done with plot stuff, so I think I, there's a lot of there's still like several bosses in this game, like side bosses, which seem to get tougher and tougher the deeper you go. I think we'll have time for two of those, but um, actually I have to save the game. Real, I did save the game. Never mind. But um, I. I I will do one more plot thing, which again might be a bit too late, unfortunately. It looks like you kind of had to come here early, earlier than, than this point of the game to do it. But we'll go ahead anyway, because there's also apparently a boss in this area. We are going to Exire, if you recall, the Flying City of the Elves. The uh, Half-Elves, I'm sorry. Which is currently over here. Thankfully I found this big map, so that helped me out quite a bit. Was there a save point in Exire? I don't see one. Was that thing... Have these always been glowing like these? These bottoms of these ones? 
I don't recall. Okay, so let's see now. Like I said, unfortunately, we might miss out on this, but um, as you recall, we had those like moments in Heim, not Heimdall, uh, well, Gaia, where everyone was like captured and uh, they had to like face like their inner demons or whatever and like have to kind of overcome their problems and they'd face like these illusions of people who were important to them. Um, there we go. Okay, it's... There's three buildings. We need to go to the Elder's House. A three-story building and then one more house. I think this might be the Elder's House? No, I believe this is the house we need to come into at the end. So this is not the house we need. Um... In, in that wall Gaia thing, the character that uh, the professor met was apparently her mother, you might recall. Um, now, we never met the uh, Genus and uh, Rain's mother in the game, but apparently we could have. You can find her here in Exire if you do the side quest correctly. It might be, unfortunately, too late for that. Apparently, from what I've been reading, it's... Quite a sad story coming our way. Alright, they're not scared of humans here. This seems like a, such a dangerous place to live in, right? There's, there's no railings! We're super high in the sky. Okay, so this is the third house, and this should be the elder's house. There should be no houses up here, right? No, wait a second, there is a house here. Oh, but you can't go in because it's ruined. Right. And the, here, there's nothing. There's just another platform to leave on. Good. Then I'm all, all on the map. So, uh, excuse me. Let's go talk to the. Apparently, we need to talk to the elder first. Now, yeah, this might not work, like I said, but we'll give it a go. Oh shit! There's still one more plot thing I want to do. We'll try to find time for it eventually. We'll, we'll go, it's in Silver Ant. We'll, we'll take care of it eventually. Half-elf and human travelers. That's a great combination. Oh, that's too bad. We couldn't do it. So if you talk to him, we get to go on a quest to meet um, their mother, who is... Uh... Yeah, it's in that final house. Then, like, I, I guess you're going to learn more about the uh, genus and mm, Rain's backstory. But I couldn't get that. However, we're not done with Exire yet, because there is, in fact, a boss fight to be had here. Uh, so, it's actually right nearby, apparently. Hold on now. We're at the Elder's house. Walk counterclockwise and around his house. Oh, counterclockwise. Die. Here we are, behind the house. We'll end up behind an area behind his house. Wow, I would have never found this without this guide. Okay, we need to equip one of these gems. Can I equip it on a guy who's not in our party at the moment? Like Zay Zelos. Will that count? Uh, let's see. Opal, Aquamarine, Ruby, and Garnet. Oh, we need to equip all of them, I think. Okay, well, Opal... If I'm reading this correctly, Opal, Ruby, no, 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 there we go, I, oh, well, it wouldn't be a Tales of Symphonia recording without me screwing this up, would it, and, um, yeah, that's, just, let's put it on her, I guess, I don't really know, uh, What was it now? Aquamarine and Garnet. Aquamarine. There you are. Let's hope it's like... It doesn't have to be characters in our party. Or in our, in our active party. Now we should get... If I read all these different bosses in this game correctly, I think this is the easiest of the optional bosses. 
we're only gonna have time for two, and the next one after this one is also even tougher as well. Because this is almost three three hours long, my video, so I gotta wrap it up. And I know I could not... Reading some of the descriptions of these bosses, I... as much I'm sure you guys would like to see me try them, but I, I know I cannot succeed, so we're not gonna do that. What is this? There's an engraved stone here. I felt tremendous power. I wonder what's written on it. Show it to me. If you wish to meet the one who controls matter itself, prove you control earth, water, fire, and wind. This is... Well, that's why we needed the gems, right? Is that talking about Maxwell? If we show proof to this stone, we can meet Maxwell? Most likely. I can't believe something like this has been sleeping here all this time. Proof, huh? What are we supposed to do? Hmm... I've got it! Really, Professor? The proof of earth, water, fire and wind means... Ruby, the proof of the pact with Gnome. Aquamarine, the proof of the pact with Undine. Garnet, the proof of the pact with Efreet. Opal, the proof of the pact with Sylph. We simply equip these jewels and show it. Ah, I get it. Ah, I get it. Wait a minute, the four jewels? Don't we already have those equipped? Now that you mention it, we do. Which means... Oh, that's funny. I bet this cutscene would be different if you didn't have them equipped yet. That, that's kind of funny. <laughs> it has been a long time since anyone has come to see me. You're Maxwell, right? We showed proof that we control earth, water, fire, and wind. Please form a pact with me and lend me your power. Hmm. If you're able to form a pact with Origin, that not means you're ready. Very well. Will you lend us your power? <laughs> Only if you show me yours. Get ready! Wow, I don't even know what this is gonna be now. There's like one more hidden summon in this game. Oh, it's just like an old... It, it's Bugenhagen? Oh shit, now, now I didn't have Sheena in my party and... Oh, well I can de-equip those items, so that's fine. Um... Oh, no, I can't. Oh, no, yes, I can. Yeah. No, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Uh, no, not that. Um. So this apparently heals you. I looked these up. This heals you, and this prevents all status effects. Just doesn't tell you for whatever reason. Hmm. Let's put that one, and... Uh, that's kind of funny that Bugenhagen's the guy here. All right, sure. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he's really funny. Where are we fighting him? Ah, his attack is kind of awful, isn't it? He makes a huge blast there. Let's see what this does. Anything good? Nothing? Oh, I... But, oh you're gonna hit me with your staff, are you? We are... Wow, we are really clocking this guy today. Oh, that's not good. He's got a, He's got his big book out. Oh, he's got Meteor Storm! I see. So that's what that spell does. Good to know. Uh, no, no, not that one. Well, golly. Hmm, you aren't ready yet. Come back again. Well, it seemed like an okay fight until he did that. Um, yeah. <laughs> right, okay. All right. So that was the easiest of the uh, optional bosses. <laughs> Uh, I really hope I can beat the next one, though. This is, like, kind of a... 
This next boss is kind of like a... It's been all leading up to this one, so... I don't know what the story is with Maxwell. He's just a random, like... I thought we already had all the summon spirits, but then this guy is in the game on top. I don't know. Oh, we can just go this way, actually. So there's a lot of stuff we could have still done in this game. There's like a Colosseum with lots of extra bosses. Apparently, um, Zelos' sister appears as a boss there. There's some sort of like extra dungeon called Niflheim, which appears to be the single toughest thing in the game. And I, 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 cause looking at the list of stuff you have to do there is like quite daunting. And what's more, there's also like those, there's all those sealed chests, if you recall. We found all over the world, we found like sealed chests. There's a side quest where you meet some guy who helps you open those chests to get like weapons for every character there. This was Izuld, right? Yes, this is Izuld, good. Never thought we'd be coming back here, did you? But we did. Now, where can you rest in this place? Is there a place to rest here? Not here, okay. Um, so, this guy will lead you on, like, a little merry trek to find all these boxes. Like, he... He got, uh, sends you on a quest. Uh, then you have to fight him at the end, apparently. He's also apparently a really, really tough boss. Uh, but then you get to keep all those weapons, and they'll unlock an ability where for every enemy you kill, the weapon's damage will go up. Like, these weapons apparently are not super great when you get them, but they will grind up to be tougher the more enemies you kill. So then they will have the potential to become the best weapons in the game. Which is kind of cool. Here we go. This is the last plot thing I wanted to do to wrap things up. There's a couple of more plot things here, but I don't find them super important, so I'll just let it be for now. This time we're not gonna let you get away. Uh-oh, remember so long ago, Clara was the, the wife of the mayor of Palma Costa? Stop! Not you again. If you interfere, we'll take you out too. Oh, is this... I think this is the, um, I think these guys are the fake heroes back in Palma Costa as well. I think that's cool that we come back all the way to them too. No, this is not what you think. Professor, please. I know. Are you all right? Clara, right? Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Thank you so much. I finally returned to my original form. Thank goodness. Oh, I'm so glad. What? Why did the monster turn into a human? Are you stupid? She was a human to begin with, but she was turned into a monster by the designs. How can I possibly thank you? I have only a vague memory of when I was a monster, but I still remember that you saved Palma Costa. I'm sorry, it's all my fault. I should have been stronger. No, Chosen. You saved even someone like me. Clara! I will return to Palma Costa. I do not know what I could possibly do, but I feel that there must be something. Please be well, Chosen. I pray for your success. So that's another, like, real plot thing that's... Well, it was kind of left hanging, but we finally solved it by saving Clara. I will return to Palma Costa. I do not know what I could possibly do, but I feel that there must be something. Please be well chosen. I pray for your success. There we go. So, um... There's one more plot thing I think we... Like, I can't do it, but what was left hanging. Uh, a character in Azul gave us, like, a love letter to pass on. And we never really solved that. You have to rebuild Luin to be able to return it. So once again, I can't do it because it's just too much work. I just cannot do all that grinding to save Luin. So we'll never find out on the Minsk and French channel how that story goes. But now it's time for the final extra battle. And I really hope they have different music by now because I am sick of that generic boss theme. It's a bad song. I don't like it. I think it's kind of a letdown. However, if we go here... 
Guess who's back? So, you have come, strong ones. I have reclaimed all I had once lost. Now fight. It's Swordmaster for one last hurrah. And this time, apparently, this is the toughest he'll ever get. So I hope I can do this. Let's do this. Everything was for this moment. Ah, oh, still this music. What a letdown. But, boss shouldn't be a letdown. Well, he did like 500 damage to me while I was blocking, so... So, there's that. Also, he did that, and I'm pretty sure I was blocking that time. You maybe want to heal me up a bit, Professor? Alright, I'm good! Oh, he blocked that. Oh, he's casting something awful. Oh, I'm gonna blow up. I got out of the indignation! Yay! He... he flubbed. Ground Dasher. Oh, that's bad. That's that That's that big earth blow. Okay, so I ran right into his spinning... Why do I still have Sheena in my party? I could have had, like, Regal be in here. Ah. Let's use some Miracle Gems. No, no, I need to resurrect Sheena. That's what I was doing. So, uh... Someone want to heal me up, maybe? For just a little bit? Alrighty. There we go. I'm ready to rock. Ooh, we knocked him out of his, uh... His, uh, move. Nice. What's he gonna do now? Eruption. That's also bad. Alright. Ooh, cross... Okay! Wow, wow, he does a lot of damage. Alright. Hey! Why don't you get away from the professor there, Chuckles? Oh, oh, he's really after the professor now. Oh. Flame Lance? That sounds really bad. Oh, I, I managed to avoid it. Ow! Oh, you stupid. Come on, baby! Let's get something big. Ooh, Purgatory Seal! That sounds really good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's getting bopped. I'm gonna take that break to drop one of these on me. What the? It was something like Eternal Devastation or something? Sounds good. Oh, Ground Dasher is really bad. Ah! That's... Oh boy, that was really unlucky that we kind of stepped into. What is Soul Infusion? He keeps just doing that. Not enough. Still not enough. Damn. Uh, well, I should be ending the episode here, but... um. You guys want to see me just, like, one more go at that, maybe? We'll give it one more go, because I thought that fight was going pretty well. I just, uh... Really? We can't sleep in Dirk's house? That's really annoying. I just, uh... That, that, that ground dasher at the end there was really unlucky. Oh. Oops. Oh. Sorry, I'm just clicking through this now. Interesting. We can have him do customization. I never knew that. Alright then. That was nice. Bye, guys. You just keep hanging out there. Well, now where can I go rest up that's nearby? Cat's Island, I guess? I guess we'll go do that. Also, um... Freaking, let's get... Uh, Regal in there. I just feel like he's gonna do the big damage. Uh, so we'll just have him be in there, and then 
Wait, no, 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 not, not, not the professor. Evans, no. Although that purgatory seal was pretty hype when we got that going. We just got really clustered there for a second, unfortunately, and then, then that ground dasher got all of us. That's kind of what ruined the day. Only 50 gold, nice. Man, why, why was I optimistic when I was like, ah, eh, I can fit all of this into an hour. It's not a big deal. Holy cow, it was a big deal. It's fine. I, I like doing this, like, last hurrah for this game. This game was a big deal. I, I really enjoyed it. And, uh, uh, this is the wrong continent. And I feel like I did have to, like, go through some of this stuff at the end. To not leave it so hanging, like... I got the main story done, but there was all this interesting side content. It would have been a shame to leave it unused. Oh boy. I didn't use a ton of items, right? So I don't have to go shopping again, right? I could have just loaded up a save, couldn't I? Mm. It's fine. This one's for all the beans! I should have been attacking him while he's stunned. Missed me! Oh, nice. All of them missed me. Ah, I'm so slow on my, like, moves there. Oh, Spark Wave's bad! I really should be jumping more forwards to him, I guess, but, uh... Oh. Oh, I... Also, I should be... When he's looking at me, I really should back up, actually, because then the, his, his attacks won't hit the other guys. Eternal damnation! Yeah, baby. He's gonna do something that away now, so I think I can... Yeah, okay, I can get in there. Get in there! I think he's going for Lloyd now? Let's see. Oh, no, he's going for... For Regal. Okay, Lloyd, you are gonna heal him up. Ooh, that hurt. Back up for a bit. Oh, now he's aiming for me. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, crud, crud cakes. Oh yeah, got him out of it. Oh, come on, evil dive. Oh, nothing big this time. That's fine. Whoa. Keep away from that. Now we can move in. Come on, beast! Oh, that was a risky move, and I'm gonna pay the price for that. Ah, dang. Cast that me. Oh, get out of the area! Oh, I still ended up in it. That's not good. I, that indignation's huge, the area. I, I don't know what that soul infusion is that he keeps doing. You know, the nice thing is he's stuck, like, doing his spells now. For some reason, his AI is just casting spells now that I brought Regal here. That's a lot easier to avoid than his sword play. Like that one. Ow. Well, let's leave these guys finish casting. Alright, now, Professor, it would be a great time to get me back to. Oh, I, yeah, I had finality punishment there instead of. There's a there's beast, that's what I wanted to do. That didn't really work, though. Oh no, oh, no I thought I could run away! But I, well, I only took, like, small damage from that. This area on his attacks is huge. It's really huge. Ah. Oh, good. That. What the? Oh, what is this combo we're doing right now? Okay, I think we're gonna avoid this one. Just keep wailing on him. 
We're not doing great damage on him, are we? Because his, his, his defense is so high. Yeah, that's more like it. Back off, everybody. He's, he's like, up and in action. Yeah. Let's see what we get from this one. Something big, I hope. Nothing. And now we back off again, but he's like, I'm gonna cast a scary spell! And get it! God, that's a lot of damage. Um, yes! I can't believe we did that! Aw, oh, good work, guys. I... Farewell, strong ones. Well, such a bad guy after all. The Kusanagi blade. Aw, oh, that's so nice, Colette. あの、苦しみから解放されたってことだもん。苦しかった。そんなの考えもしなかった。あのモンスターも戦いを求めてしまうような何か訳があったということかもしれないね。No, Oh, this makes me really happy that we're ending on this note. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> oh, that's Aww. That's really nice. Kusanagi Blade apparently is Lloyd's best weapon when it comes to slash damage. Let's have a quick look at that. Apparently even better than the Material Blade or whatever that other blade we got. Wow, that's good. I kind of want to see what it looks like in battle. Let's find out really quickly a monster to fight, so we can see what that looks like. So yeah, it's that Sword Dancer Saga over. That's, that's cool. He was a nice little side boss. And he wasn't too tough, as evidenced by me being able to beat him. It doesn't usually happen when I play video games and I do side bosses, you know. As we saw with Maxwell. What's those? Well, those are pretty cool looking swords. Hey, Lloyd, you went up. 700 damage. Alright. They're yeah, pretty cool. I, I like them. Oh, look at everyone looking so dapper as we end this. And Klonoa. Freaking Klonoa. That's so great that we have Klonoa in this game. Yeah, okay. With that, I think it's finally time to put Tales of Symphonia to a close. Thank you for watching this, and may you have a great New Year. May you have a great 2018. I hope you guys keep watching my channel even in the coming year. Good luck and salutations. Bye!